officially dubbing this the uh, Transyl Hotel Transylvania fan podcast live oh, here. And the up. hey, 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 now. No, talk. You're grounded. No. no okay. You're... What's right, your fine. What's Gooba, your favorite? You can, you can be uh... Gooba. You can be the host and ask everyone how their day is going. All right, Jason. everyone. Gaijin Goomba here. How you doing? Welcome to the Unexpectables, where everything is so completely... the Transylvania Hotel Podcast. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! The worst part about that joke is that no one heard it. Hey, uh, let's talk about our hotel... Let's talk about our Hotel Transylvania OCs. Oh. Um, Ma um... My, my OC is Mavis 2. Ooh. <laughs> oh, nice, okay. But she, but she has a blue streak in her hair this yes, time. Yes! Yeah. Uh -huh, there yeah. we go, and glasses. There we go. Ooh, I like it. No, nobody else. Thank you for the 10-month resub. All right, Gooba. Actually, Gooba, do introductions. Come on. Come on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, do no. it. No, I, no, I'm done. I'm done. No, actually, See, no. here's the thing. No one, no, no one ruin it. Shut up! <laughs> this is what you do. This is what you do, Boyo. You set me up, and then you cut me off. <laughs> okay, I will, I will be quiet till you get to me. I will be fucking quiet till you get to me. Guys, hey, you're Goomba. our Rich Evans. Goomba. 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 <laughs> Yes. Goomba, welcome to my fucking childhood. Yeah, I know! I feel so bad for you, Monty! <laughs> Jesus, you had to put up with this! I know, right? I'm so sorry. Um, and the ladder incident, anyway. Oh, God. You tell me- No, this is the thing, Taka. This, like, last Monday at the good old Yes Yes Love Adventure Go, you tell me to do a cut. Wait, was that yes or no was- was No, that was mon- No. No. That was the unexpected oh, Zara Street. That's what that was. That's what that was. You're like, hey, let's do a take. I did a take. Let's do it again. I did it again, and I did it good. And he said, do it again, and do it again, and do it again, and do yeah, it again. Yeah, welcome to voiceover. All right. Yeah, that's true. Well, anyway, Okta, how you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. You want to you want to tell the good people where they can find you? Hi, everybody. You can find me at fanfiction.net slash uh, Hotel Transylvania fan number one. <laughs> yes! Uh, you can read about you can read all of my Hotel Transylvania fan fictions, uh, mostly of me going on dates with Mavis. Uh, jo Johnny is is uh, nowhere to be found. Um, but anyway, thanks. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm committing to this. <laughs> well done. Good next, Bosco. Good old Tabasco sauce. How you doing tonight, buddy? Hey man, I'm doing good. How you doing? You do not sound like you're doing good. Are you I'm sure do I'm you're doing, doing great. good? I'm, I would never lie to you, man. I'm doing great. Oh, uh, all right. Well, you want to tell the good people where they can find yeah, you and what you're up can, to? Yeah, uh, they can find me over on Twitter and Instagram at Ed Bosco VA, and they can also find me right here on Twitch.tv, uh, just slash my name, just Edward Bosco. Uh, typically, we play some sports ball, scream at players to grab the ball and to do things. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing more, uh, more sports ball in the future. I have a very important question for you there, Bosco. Have you considered Blood Bowl? Um, yeah, I've, uh, I've considered Blood Bowl and, uh, I'm really looking forward to, to, to facing off against Probate. I think he's a great guy and, uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a heck of a game and, uh, you know, maybe may the best person win. Okay. So can, can we, can we just explain, can we just expect something? So when does the meltdown happen? Because anyone who says it might be a good time with Blood Bowl will instantly fucking forget what fun oh. is. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Let's get one more intro out of the way before we get to some of those bits. Connor, our very own distortion devil. What is up, buddy? Sounds like you got some crunch. Oh, the oh, crunches. Yeah, that's the, the crunches. Oh, that's love the it. good stuff. Oh, just see the spike. Just see the spikes going mm. up. How you doing, buddy? What you got planned for your streams, pal? Well, this weekend I have uh, Friday Fun House, where I play some tabletop games and uh, drink a lot with my friends. Mm -hmm. Um. Saturday is going to be the continuation of the Witcher 2 Enhanced Edition. I'm playing through the entire Witcher series. Excellent. We're on Chapter 3 right now of the second Witcher game. Awesome. And Sunday, I do Boiderlands with uh, myself, Midnight Kai, Hi, I'm Mike, and Sir Malarvik. We are almost done with Borderlands 2's main story. Then we'll be moving on to the DLCs. Oh, you can do all that, all the DLCs that's though. Like longer than the game. All the DLCs. Skip Midnight. the one that's like the the hunting one or whatever. The, the one hunting the, one. The hunting. Yeah. I mean, the hunting one's funny for the boss. The pirate fight. one's good. The yep. torque yep. one's great. The D and D one's fantastic. But the one where it's like the hunting one is is the, zo the zone. We're doing all of them. The the hunting oh. one's zone sucks, but the final boss is fucking hysterical. How he dies. Oh. Okay. Uh, but, that's but, you, but you can't. But you can't say you've completed that game until you do the raid boss. You know which one I'm talking about. 
Anyway, hey Taka, how about we read off some of them bits? I have notes for you, actually. I feel like you were cutting off people a little bit too much. And, uh, uh -huh. that's my thing. And, and I, I think, feel like I think... you skipped someone! <laughs> no, 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 because no, we do. Zito, calm down. We do half and half. We, we keep it balanced. Oh, don't put the fucking flip side on me for this shit, Gaijin. Well, he does the Are half they're... full people, then he does the half empty people at the end, okay? Man, he goes down the glass. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of bits, a lot of subs. Oh, my sweet God, a lot of subs. Random 18, Spaceman Joe. Zito, quit the kid. Jock. 5225, Alien Ghost 365, E Dragon Dale, Shadow 21551, Y Beast, Gill Tone, Glacerius the Mad Grey Hatter, the Scottish Boomstick, Hepatitis D, oh yeah! Mm -hmm. Burninator 1130. Thank you so much, Duke Skelebons with 1500 bits. No message, just bits. Thank you so much, Duke Skelebons. And Blackfoot Ferret with over 9000 bits. What? Let's do this! 9,001 bits from Blackfoot Ferret. Thank you so much, Blackfoot Ferret, with the traditional meme bits. Iggy Hirokage with a six-month resub. Vardixis with a seven-month resub. Uh, tall guys in. Gil Tone with a 500 bits. Some cupcakes for the best boy. Jewelry Jelly with 100 bits. Thank you, Warfay. Thank you so much. Matt Negerton. Thank you so much, Marcus Atera. Master Monster 1-1. SF Cody with 1,500 bits. Wednesday, Jambalaya, the Unexpectables. Bit donations for the eventual reunion of the guest characters. SF Cody with a 10-month resub. Scoot Laboot. Thank you so much as well. Yuki Usagi, Protoss 103, Hero Shepherd, Polka King 237, Griffon 24-7, Dark Lord Popo. Lively Havoc, Dork Knight 4, and Alien Go 365 with 2,000 bits. Phase 2, here we go, here we go. Continue, Goomba. All right, so so I know he's raring and ready to go. Zito, what is uh, up, my dude? Sorry, what? Exactly. <laughs> what, you, what, you doing on, what you doing on stream? I'm seeing a lot of Slay the Spire and some very special things coming up, so I hear. Mm. Well, Slay the Spire is a thing, yes, because I'm making my own mod for it, so that's nice. been taking up a good part of my occup- Occup- uh... Fuck words. <laughs> take uh, up your time. Yeah, no, they take up my time. No time for words. English. Me fail English at impossible. Slay the Spire is happening because I'm making a mod. Uh, mm. making the Cobalt mod. Uh, indie games, they happen. Uh, which is actually pretty cool because February is going to be full of indie game nonsense. Speaking mm -hmm. of, War Groove drops on the first of February. Oh, that's right, it does. What's all? What's but what's that about? Uh, remember, uh, tactic, uh, Advance Wars. Mm-hmm. Chucklefish oh, yeah. is making it. Oh. Same people. Same people. No, no, it's Chucklefish making Advance Wars. Who's Chucklefish? Yeah, they're the ones who made. They made uh, Stardew Valley like the number one selling part. No, 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 no. They published it. They published it. They published it. They published, they published it. it. Star yeah. They they made they made Starbound. Sorry, that's right. Uh, oh, gotcha, okay, that's still okay. That's still okay. That's still okay. It All looks right. yeah. fantastic. Also, one of your generals can be like a dog. It's yes, yes. One of your generals is a dog. But but here's the thing. Someone got so fucking upset that the possibility of your dog dying in the middle of a fucking war, because, you know, the key word is war, they got mm. so butthurt that now the dogs just run away instead of dying in the Good. field. Good. <laughs> That's the world oh, I want to no live dog, in. No dog deserves that. Yeah, it's true. Absolutely not. Dogs just disappear I mean, and go to a land Every where faction gets a dog general. It's nice. Amazing. It's nice that we we get an advance wars because intelligence systems is too busy slaving away making fire emblem for the next thirty years. I know uh, the fire <laughs> em the fire emblem cave of punishment. Yeah, that's basically where they are forever until it stops giving human, Nintendo boatloads God. of money. Human breeding simulator. <laughs> remember when you get? Remember when you used to like make your own fucking like units instead of them being pre-made and having to force them to ship? Oh, I remember. Yeah. We need I military had, research and development simulator. I have sacred stones somewhere in my Someone house. Someone will be paired. That's Armored Core, and that's so happening soon. Someone uh, will be paired with the lolly, and I am sorry to you, but I want two dragons, so deal. <laughs> Do you want the 11th hour old man? There's only one gay ship, and it's the old man. Oh, God. I wonder how these get decided. So uh, you got you got anything else coming up, Zito? Uh... Art commissions, working for awesome. Slay the Spire mods, um, indie games. Mm -hmm. uh, beyond that, stay tuned. Excellent. Money! 
Our very own DM, how you doing? Heard you had a kind of a rough day today. I de never bathed for rats. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> also, if you're going to bathe for rats, be sure to trim their nails before you put them oh, in Oh, no. Yeah, that was the mistake of today. Um, Pickle, Pickle and Freya were fine. They're good. They're the good children. Um, but Jester kept running for me, which is hard when they're soapy. And Hoodie was screaming like death, so I was it was very stressful for everyone involved. Um, but they're clean; they don't smell anymore, which is great. And their cage is all clean. Um, Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I want to try and stream some more this week. I've been feeling a lot better. Uh, the last couple of weeks, I've been feeling kind of unwell, so I'm just having to, to having some sleeping stuff going on. Um, but tomorrow, I'm hoping to do. Uh, I, I have a few ideas. I don't want to spoil anything, but I have a couple mm. ideas. Uh, Sunday, hopefully, I also want to do a game stream, so that's going to be a thing. Uh, also thinking about opening maybe some private commissions, thinking cool. on that. Uh, but for now, a little bit busy. Um, but yeah, no, you can catch me at Monty Glue on Twitter, and you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, also, Zito, be sure to plug yourself, my dude. Oh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Zito. Well, awesome. I'm By really the way, right. Monty, I, I have one thing to ask you. Now, if this does happen again, you have to bathe that same rat again record oh. it because you can make bank like the dude who did hate beak oh god no it's so awful it's so awful have, and i'm not hurting her i'm just gently like rubbing the soap into the skin but it literally she's is it literally like a rabbit have you dying? never seen the video of mr bubs on the internet yeah it's like it sounds yeah. really, it literally <sighs> sounds like mr bubs except for shrieking and like pitch modded up to be higher it's like so a, ra so a rabbit dying yeah, yeah, it's awful. I hate it so much. Now, now, now I just hear Mike Matei screaming like a dying rabbit. Yeah. And it's like, and it's like, and it's like oh, squeaking that's... too. Like she'll stop and then she'll squeak and then she'll like, oh, it's so awful. I hate it. But she, like, I had to do it because they smelled so bad. It would, it would also, it would also be hard to monetize. So. Yeah, anyway. I think. Oh God. Ugh. All right, and last but certainly not least, our gracious host mm. of this wonderful game. A brother in arms and mm. someone who I confide confide very very closely with our very own Takahata One Hundred and One. How you doing, man? What's the reverse of clapping? Uh, clapping. I can show you, but it's not stream friendly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi, what's up? I'm doing okay. Oh, on, dude. It's one of tell those... us, tell us. No, tell us about that multiverse, dude. What's been oh, going on? Oh, that multiverse with that? is, is it's popping off. Let me tell you about the multiverse. It's popping off. Trashman Jones lost his title to Grizzly Adams. Ugh. Kobunaga lost his title to uh, Lucius Constantine. The Faces Damn. of Fear also won the tag team titles off Rhythm and Blues. There's just a lot of craziness. Can anyone beat Ogre? <laughs> we're one. We're like a couple of streams away from Night of Ch Clash of Champions, then the multiverse Rumble, and then Multivania, which is just WrestleMania, but I just replaced Wrestle with Multi. Gotcha, gotcha. Holy yeah, no, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Trashman uh, has to go to the hospital though because he seems to, his hair is changing color. That's all I can say. Oh, is is he is he is he finding a new power level? No, uh, he may, because he got into a, a last man standing match with a clown, and I think mm -hmm. he actually bashed heads with the clown. They were both bleeding, so he might. Have oh no, is he him. clown infected? He might actually have. Oh the, the shit! Clown, the clown DNA may have infected his DNA. The so clowning has begun. Clowning. <laughs> so trash that, man, that, dude, that would be a great pay per view special. The clowning. No, there actually was a Survivor Series match called the Cir the, the the Carnival of Chaos, which was the open <laughs> invite from the, the Vaudevillains. You hot hush, dude! It's terrible. <laughs> the clown That's virus. Oh, real fast. Uh, we got. Can I have a quick minute to thank all these lovely people who do, do yeah, donated? Yeah, you have. You have yeah. literally two minutes. Go. Go There's for it. Demon with a thousand bits. The new four horsemen will take over. Uh, Black Wing Hellkite with three thousand bits. This was around the time I got caught up with the Unexpectables anniversary bits. Black Wing Hellkite, thank you so much. Hogwarts, thank you for the sub. Defective sheep with a thousand bits. I was hey guys, still wanted to hear for your idea for Rogue Theme Paladin oath. Uh, I asked last week, but I never got an answer. Sorry, we're about to start the game here. Uh, Moy Luna, Strayer Five, Commando Joe, Viral Tech. Pie boy four two four two the Mister Manatee. Thank you so much for the sub. Briz on ice with thirteen hundred bits. Time for Tash to get stabby. Dork Knight 4, Robbie P97, Lively Havoc Dark Lord Popa, thank you so much. And as for uh, Rogue Theme Paladin Oats, I don't know what those are. Huh? Sorry? A Rogue Theme Paladin Oats, I just don't know what that is. I don't know how to answer that question. Oh, that's, uh, Vaxel Dan was that in Critical Role. He was a rogue, oh. but also a paladin. Except he was a rogue first and a paladin he was, second. Yeah. 
He was. Yeah. Sorry, I got really distracted by uh, by Octopimp's uh, Hotel Transylvania fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. It's not. It's not bad, right? Also, it's really you, actually you, not bad. I'm curious. Should, I'm wait, wait, that, that, image you us, that image you linked us before a story. I think we should end the end this uh, end this pre-show with you linking that that in the chat for everybody. Oh yeah, well yeah, I think yeah, we yeah, should. real fast. And Blackwing Hellkite with six thousand bits. Oh my god, dude, bought too many bits. Oops, and he just pours that's them a, on our head, like a big oops. Oh god, it hurts. Ah, ah, ah. ah god, there. it falls right. At, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Let's, all right get let's get going. Go. Oh, oh rip! No, no, no! I'll just—I'll make you a mod. Don't worry about it. Okay, it's okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> when last we left our heroes, Remy, the Kenku fighter, Borky, the orc barbarian, Task, the Cobalt ranger, Greckles, the Kenku rogue, and Panic, the Tiefling bard, and a newfound friend in Zenrio, the Triton sorcerer, the party completed part one of their multiple-part plan to oust the Orin clergy. After fighting a sect of the Dragon Cult and taking one orc captive on the clergy side and a dragon captive on the cult side, the party returned to camp to plan out part two of their multiple part plan plan. Clerics wanting to defect from the clergy responded to Audrey's sending message, willing to aid in the unexpectable's cause. And so now the party each set out to prepare for the next step. Gruul and Borky interrogated the orc they had captured, while Zenrio and Task interrogated a red dragon wormling they had captured. But from the red dragon came a stunning reveal. The leader of the Instruck Cult of Dragons was none other than Darkus, the one responsible for calling Task's entire clan of Iron Oath. <clears throat> so Task and Zenrio, you stand there next to the Arok pits. Mm -hmm. The dragon has this large, just contentful grin watching you your the shift in your face task as that name comes out bring thing kind of grins and stares just taking in everything now um, ah so you are familiar no uh could you actually uh tell me who that is the man who killed my entire civilization <sighs> Oh, whack. Oh, I'm sorry. Bro, that, that's awful. Yeah, that guy sounds like a jerk. There is a upside down arrow mark on his forehead. Um, okay, so... Task holds his bow up. Oh, no, 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 okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not, you know, do anything crazy. Uh, okay, let's talk it out and um figure out where this anger you know where we can direct this anger to be more uh constructive instead of destructive you know right ah, yeah yeah but Task you... is slowly pulling out an hour from no, his quiver no 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 it's okay put the butt it's okay here you know what i do when i'm really mad Sometimes what I do is I write down what's making me mad on a piece of paper and then I crumple it up and I throw it away. So, you know, I'm like taking the negative energy and I'm directing it somewhere. And, and Zenrio. Yes. You have three more questions to ask of him before I let an arrow fly into his gray matter. Okay. Um, Hang the on. dragon lulls its head and turns to you, Zenrio. Roll an insight hey. check on the dragon. Me? Okay. Yeah. Uh, 18. Okay. He, <clears throat> this dragon is not afraid. I mean, it's as afraid as anything that's about to be on death's door is going to be afraid, but uh -huh. it's almost like an, like a, like a, like, um, a warrior's death. It knows it's going to die. Um, so it, kind of is to terms with that uh but it does look to you seeing as how it is still under the influence of your suggestion spell oh what do i ask this thing uh <laughs> like the worst yeah. person because i have no backstory on on what to ask <clears throat> uh okay um <clears throat> alternatively zenrio yeah if if you wish to forfeit any questions to me i will take them as well yeah okay well let's focus on 
getting the information we need, and then when we come to the part where, you know, you feel like you need to channel this energy, this negative energy, let's think about it, you know? Zenrio, I want you to think. Okay. About your mother and father. Okay. Torched by lightning in front of you over and over and over again and multiply it by hundreds, maybe even thousands of times. Uh, bummer. Yeah, that sounds... Uh, I mean, I, I understand that you're upset, and I would be too. I would be furious. But what we can do is you can be a, the better person or cobalt, you know? You can... You can show that, you know, vengeance only is a vicious cycle, you know? It only breeds more vengeance. So if you kill this dragon, then, you know, who's going to say what somebody's going to do to try and get back at you? You can break the vicious cycle. The cycle is continuing right before us. This thing came from someone who wished to give power to those who want to instill their religion on other people and exile and murder a set of others well, maybe we can change their minds oh don't worry every single piece that you lost the dragon kind of smiles it's all going back to where it belongs oh bro bro please i'm trying to help you here bro work with me ghoul the app, the fucking bow turns into ice. Oh, God! The okay. greatest tragedy is that you're not going to be there to join them. Okay, where is, where is Darkus? Where is Farkus? Whatever his name is. The dragon's head actually kind of, like, lulls down. Unfortunately, he's not here. Good, I can see that. But where is he? Hmm. <sighs> First was Iron Oath, then the Swamp. Mm. What was before that and what was after? I think a coastline is next. Okay. And then... Mm. Is his ambition bigger than just Kobolds? Oh, my brother. It is all of us who have been wronged. Are you claiming you're a victim in this as well? Hmm, no. Oh, God. Okay, so... That's your first I'm gonna question. Ask, I'm gonna ask you a question here. Let me, let me get a question task, okay? <laughs> Is I'm there... Anyway, <clears throat> Brimfang, look at me. Look at me. Okay. He's already, he's already looking at you. I'm, 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 yeah, I, I sort of assume that, but I'm saying it anyway, it's just for effect. Look at me, okay? Is there any way you would ever consider maybe not being a jerk all the time and being nice to people? <laughs> Come on. That is a matter of perspective Ugh, i didn't think setting people on fire is considered being very nice it certainly is nice for me oh, oh bro you're killing me here oh. i have another i have another question then uh, go ahead ask it what do the silver scale cobalt have to do with this the, the for the first time he looks stunned the dragon he, like, like, blinks twice and stares at you. The what? Oh. So you weren't told everything, then. Do not treat me as a fool. You as any other would know there's no such thing. Now see, that's where you're wrong, as the grin's returning on Task's face. I've found some documents that might lead to them or prove their existence. Fairy tales. Now, why does this hurt you? 
surely, surely if it's fairy. Oh, I'm sorry. He begins to squirm in the things a bit, like, just like. <clears throat> there is no such thing. It does not exist. Hmm. Now, Show me see... this proof. Show me these documents. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, see where I'm standing. You seem to be quite upset about the fact that I brought this up. That indicates to me that you know something. Do not yeah, take so me we... for a fool. Oh, we need to keep him alive, see? <laughs> we don't need to kill him. <laughs> no, we don't have to keep him alive, but I would uh... like to. Now, I, I don't care if you believe me or not. Now let's play the hypothetical game. Why does this matter to you? If they were, or if they weren't, where does this all tie into place? Mutants. Off spawn of what we truly are. In truth, it disgusts me. Though you aim a bow at my face, you and I share the same beginning. And the reason I am not afraid is that we will share in the same end. So your cult believes that the chromatics will all be merged as one by the end of this little ploy. <laughs> it is not ploy. It is destiny and a matter of time. Mm, that, puts some, that puts some perspective of that five-headed Hydra thing I saw. Do not speak of Instruck in such an insolent manner. Show your respect. <gasps> oh, yes, I'll show respect to those that murdered my family. That seems like a wise idea. <clears throat> Uh, you know, the dragon I, lulls his head over to you, Zenrio. And I'm feeling that we're all a little tense right now. Maybe we should, you know, take a fiver, come back, you know, that think about this, take a deep breath, maybe do some meditation. And I think maybe, wait, let's, okay, do it. Resort to murder, you know, right off the bat. My thought is... Maybe we should get everyone else here to get all the information we can and then, you know, see about letting him go. Because maybe, maybe, you know, I know it's crazy. You're like, wow, what is he thinking? Letting him go? That's nuts. But what if he owes us a favor, you know, later on, right? You know, he'd be like, hey, I remember you guys. And then he can fly back to Darkus, and we can f we can start a vicious cycle of me being hunted down in my brand new home, having it start all over again and lose a second family? I don't fucking think so. But what if we make him promise, you know, like Pinky swear, does he even have a Pinky, that he wouldn't tell? Oh yes, I Pinky swear. See, when you use that turn, I, I incline not to Stop believe you. Stop being naive! I'm not naive, I'm just trying to be nice. One of the orcs kind of walks over with the rope and just kind of like points towards the dragon. Like, you want us to tie his head up again? Put it back down. I'll be back with him later. The orc Task nods, Task walks over and just like <clears throat> tightens up around the uh, the dragon's mouth. He kind of kicks and pushes, but eventually... Bind his mouth and blind him. Oh, the orc kind of looks down and is trying to figure out how to how to do that to a dragon, but... They don't really have much cloth, they have fur, um, but they kind of look at options, and as you guys head out, you see them kind of, like, just toss, like, a piece of wool over top of its eyes. Um, I'm gonna keep constant, because, uh, suggestion lasts for eight hours, so I'm gonna keep concentrating on it. Okay. Uh, but I'm assuming we're walking back to join the others. Then. At this, at this yeah. point, Task stops, looks at Zenrio. If you make me regret this, there will be consequences for you. Okay, look, look, okay, I, I, I 100% understand. I swear that I will do my best to make sure nothing bad happens. Okay. <laughs> so he's still cooperating. All right, meanwhile. Yeah. Okay. Remy and Greckles, you are led by, this is happening at the same time. 
Mm -hmm. uh, you are led by Audrey to kind of the war planning area, kind of like a more clear section of it. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys kind of set in the center, and Audrey kind of walks over, and she begins to kind of pace and look at you two, like the two of you, back and forth. Okay. Um, she kind of scratches her head. I... I don't really know how to teach you this, to be honest. Well, then perhaps <laughs> maybe we could ask the correct questions. <clears throat> For example, okay. what could we expect as we approach the camp? Calls, signals, signs, uh, uh, anything of that nature. We usually use, well, the paladins use this signal, and she reaches up her hand with two pointed fingers and does kind of like a, like a come here motion. That's a means to regroup. Um, usually when we're out on missions and we're out, um, if we all need to get back together, someone will do that and we immediately regroup. Um, um, which one? Okay, so you're going to be the cleric, right? And you're the paladin? I believe that was a plan, right, Remy? Yes, that was the plan. Okay, first of all, you, Remy, uh, shoulders back, head up, slightly up. Chin always has to be up just a little bit. It's hard with the feet. You kind of like it re readjusts your head to look up a little bit. Right. Um, <clears throat> so, night posture then. A little higher in the chin. Oh, you worship oh the sun, remember? Oh, I always look up at the sun. Yep. <sighs> How's this? Your eyes, your eyes will start to hurt after a while. That's good. That's good. But you have to keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I, I did not literally mean whatever. Uh, <clears throat> that is very weird. Well, that's what they're trained to do. Um, okay, shoulders back. Always polish. Helmet always on. The only time you take off your helmet is during uh, sunrise, midday, and midnight uh, uh, sundown prayer. Those are the only three times, okay? So unless I'm praying, keep the helmet on. Exactly. Unless you're off duty, but I mean, none of the paladins at the camp are off duty. So, well, unless you're sleeping. If the sun is present, you're wearing the helmet. Make sense? Yes. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Never put a hand on your weapon. No hand on the weapon. No. When you're amongst your comrades, you should never have a hand on your weapon. It shows mistrust. <clears throat> but if you're near an enemy, say the orcs, for example, then you put your hand on the weapon. What if we believe there may be a hostile in the area? Uh, well, if a call is ordered, then yeah. For example, say we are out by the bushes doing whatever hedge work they're going to do, and we hear something, and we believe it may be a hostile creature. Are we allowed to draw a weapon, put a hand on it, call attention uh, to it? Put a hand on it, I think. She kind of scratches the back of her neck. I don't wield a weapon. Well, I have my mace, but that's not really meant for right. it. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so yeah, head up. Um, also, um, definitely if you're talking to, um, your cleric and she looks towards you, Greckles, mm -hmm. firm voice, quick commands, precise, um, <coughs> and if you're feeling particularly cruel, you can do a shove or two. Uh, I... With Greckle's permission, we'll play the part to the best of my abilities. That includes their disrespectful nature towards you. Not excessive, though. No, of course not. I would never pull him in front of an arrow or anything like that. Bitter. Dude, Aud Audrey's face kind of curls, and she goes, Anyway, you. And she looks to you, Greckles. Yes. This one's a little easier. Okay, um, let's grab... Uh, actually, here. She kind of untakes... She takes off part of her robe. Mm -hmm. uh, she she gives it to you, and she's kind of like, okay, uh, the beak's a little. She kind of like tries to push your your head back with the beak and the hood, trying to like get the Dark. beak under the hood. Okay, we'll fix that in post. Um, okay, hood always up. Same thing with the helmet. Gotcha. Makes, makes sense. Okay, now hands positioning is very important. Okay, so mm. show me your hands. Okay. Oh, your nails are really long. You need to trim them. Um, <clears throat> okay, so your two fingers. You see your pointer finger and the middle finger? Mm -hmm. Take both on each hand and take your uh, take your right hand and place the middle finger between the middle finger and the pointer finger of your left hand, okay? So, okay, just out of character really quick because I'm trying to write all this down. Yeah, so it's two like... Bs, it's like do two double peace sign and then cross them. 
with with index to index and middle to middle? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Sign. Yeah, no, I'm jotting these down too. Yeah, right. Like, so it's like Wakanda forever, but with peace signs. Uh, <laughs> no, it's like this is we're at part one right now. This actually has a few parts to it. Oh, hang on. I'm trying to yeah. do it along with what you're describing. Lucky yeah, yeah. Is not, I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm actually like, I'm doing so it. So lucky that Borky it is, doesn't have to do this. I. <laughs> it is literally two V's, and you cross the two closest fingers coming together. Right. And then what you do, is she says, is you hook the fingers together, you bring them close, and you basically um, kind of cup your hands doing that with the two fingers locked together. Hook oh, fingers. I think I got it. <laughs> and then... So, so wait, wait. Hook fingers together, close. Yeah. Close, but you want the fingers outstretched. So you don't want them tightly pulled in. They're actually open. Okay. This looks really I'm. I don't even know how to visualize it. Just... Yeah, sorry. I don't. I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, it's 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 literally like I wish I had a webcam. It is literally like two fingers crossed in the middle, and then mm -hmm. they're coming into like almost like a diamond. Uh, like the entire both hands are coming into almost like a diamond shape. As she does this, it's 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 just like it's like. It doesn't really mean too much. It's it's just a little detail. Um, she looks <laughs> to you. She goes, "Okay." And then once those are there, you hold them right down past your waist with the crook of your arm stretched just slightly right here. And she kind of gently pushes your hand down almost to like the, uh, the, your waist or so. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's like, okay. So the reason we do that is so at any point we can flip our palm and cast a spell. We never have our hands clenched. Mm. Uh, we always keep them open. Additionally, shoulders down, head down, and um, never talk unless you're talked to first by your paladin. That'll make things easy for the both of us. Mm -hmm. Clerics will usually only ever respond to paladins or those, their own paladins or those who outrank their paladins. They'll never talk to other paladins. That oh. is, of course, unless we're off duty. So, never, never, essentially, never speak to another paladin aside from mm -hmm. my own. Except for your own or someone who has rank on you. So, in that case, Aftar. This hand thing is going to be hard to reenact. I'm just going to say that right now. <laughs> as long say, as you remember just, the... Just, just yeah. say you do it. <laughs> so I do the thing you told me to do. Um, if, if you struggle with the hand thing, the other thing you can do is press your thumbs together and your pointer finger together and bring it down to a triangle as well. It's kind of like the um, young way to do it, I guess. But same idea. Okay, right foot green. <laughs> Look, this is subterfuge. This is what you have to go through. Oh, no, no, no. I know, I know. But I, I had to get that joke in. I'm sorry. <sighs> Does the point go down or up? The point goes down. So you're always, your finger, your fingertips are always facing down. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, the other thing she turns to goes, um, what about, to... Mm. what about ahead. prayers? Uh, citation, the, Calls and responses. I, I've seen other faiths do it before, where there will be a well-known call-out, and then there's a return from a congregation of sort. Uh, may Orin's light be with you is the most common. May the sun shine on. Um, may the light never fade. I mean, a lot of it's fairly similar. You'll see Remy clear his throat. <clears> throat> By sun we see, in light we thrive. Through night we hope, with dawn we rise. Or something like that. Yeah. You're not, you're not half bad at that, Remy. I heard it enough. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone tried to draw the hand thing. All the fingers come together. They're not outspread. They all come yeah, together. Yeah, anonymous together. person who drew that terribly. God. <laughs> no. The fingers intertwine. All fingers come together, pointing down. Uh, uh, yes, west side. West side? <laughs> so is that what this is? Is this the meeting of the west side and then bring it down? No, it's, <laughs> the sun, it's the sun side. The Orange clergy's throwing up gang symbols. Oh, okay, God. so I think I think I got it. 
Okay, so we don't do blood in this area. Got it. <laughs> I want. I'd love to take a picture, but I'm covered in band aids because the rat. Is... <laughs> that is that it? Oh no! I can't do my gang signs because of the rat wounds. It's like Did such I a. Get it? <laughs> such a <laughs> damn it, Octo. Octo, oh, you're so good. You're, Octo, you're grounded too. Ah, man. <laughs> okay. Go to your room. No Netflix for a week. For those of you who don't know, Octo posted a picture of the OK hand upside down. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Got him. Anyway, oh, let's get back to this. All right. Audrey, Audrey, is there anything else that I could expect to be told or expected to do? Um. When I, when, as soon as I enter that camp, I need to know exactly where I need to be, what I need to say, what I need to do, everything. Keep talking to other clerics to a minimum. That is very much frowned upon. So how exactly are we going to separate a cleric from their paladin long enough for, well, for Panic to be able to work his magic and get them out? And that still leaves two others we have to rescue. <clears throat> hmm. I could send a sending spell and maybe see if they have something planned. What we also need to do, we need some kind of call sign so that the other clerics know who we are, but not raise suspicion. Hmm. Or, a, hmm. or a password, or a passphrase. Something. Or the Gotham symbol. Um, all joking aside, you could change your hand signal slightly, perhaps, or um, a greeting, a specific greeting, maybe mm. something like, um, uh, may Solar's grace pave the way this day. Um, mm. I, actually, it... I actually like that one. Okay. Is it, is it not typical for Solar to be mentioned in prayers? If that's the case, that's the perfect word to use. We don't pray to Solar too much, considering what happened with Sol Soliandris, but... Um, it might be inconspicuous enough if we simply mention the name in a greeting. It could, yeah. Um, in terms of the paladins, um, let me see here. All things considered, Remy, I think it might actually be <clears throat> I think it might be rather poetic if talking of Solar's Grace lighting a brand new path was used for this. Sure, I can, uh, I can make a note of it. There are two paladins you should be aware of. All right. All right. One, his name is Boris. He'll probably be the one giving the most orders. Honestly, I'd see him be, becoming a herald of the sun one day. He's very um, tactful and strategic. He makes for a great leader. So he's charismatic. <clears throat> Similar to Remy, I guess. Aww. But... Remy will glare at her a little bit. <laughs> I just mean, like... Easy, I mean, easy, easy, easy. We're all focused. Come on. You're not like the the demon guy where you're wearing like a cut shirt and stuff but you i mean i could see a statue of you somewhere he's handsome we could just leave it at that oh him she points a thumb towards remy well i don't know i i i i, I mean boris or uh, boris or this this other paladin you were speaking of regardless boris is a good leader might be a herald one day probably giving orders i understand mm -hmm. and this other one she always takes a breath. His name is Westcott. Out of all the paladins, he's the cruelest. The Gronkowski of paladins. <laughs> Come on, guys. We, we let you have your scene. Yes, yes, I know. I know. He's, right. um... You're gonna have to brace yourself if he starts being himself. What exactly does that mean? You remember I mentioned there was one cleric who would really want to leave no matter what? I assume it's his. She nods. 
All right, so my next question is, what is the best way to separate a paladin from their cleric if they're going to be in such close proximity all the time and you're not supposed to talk to anyone else? Nightfall. Are... Nightfall, not... no, one, no one will be outside at nightfall. We stay in the camp at night. There are yes, dangers the I... in the dark. The idea was to hit them when they were out in the open by the hedges, if I remember correctly. If we wanted to hit them, but if we wanted to get these other clerics out... You, segre you segregate Paladin and Cleric at nightfall for sleeping, is that correct? We do, but that's behind walls. There's no way. I, With respect, if you guys go in that deep, I there's no way you're getting back out. Mm. Understood. We, can't, we can't go past the gate. She's right. Mm -hmm. um, a few things can happen that can separate us. Um, a danger, something like that. Um, sometimes in more co close proximity fights, uh, the paladins will all, she kind of like takes her fingers and kind of like clumps them all together and like makes like a bashing sort of like motion. Like they all kind of just jump in and fight the thing and then the clerics will stay back. Um, and sometimes as punishment, uh, clerics are separated from their paladins too. The paladins get punished that way. Um, I mean, we also can separate to gossip occasionally, though that is, we are checked on pretty frequently. So, so you're saying the clerics can talk amongst themselves? Mm-hmm, but not too much, of course. She kind of rolls her eyes a little bit. Well, that could be one way to isolate at least a couple of them from the clerics, or from the paladins, at least. We know that there's three clerics that want out, yes? Mm-hmm. I don't know <sighs> if there's any others. I mean, I just know that... Uh, Hanori wants to go, and I'm assuming that, uh, what was her name? Kendra would also want to go, too. Those two for mm. certain. And then the third one would probably be Maria. And if there's any others, I have no idea. I can use Good. sending, a, again, I can send another message if we need to. Well, we definitely need some kind of a passphrase or pass, password gesture. Okay. I think the solo greeting would be the most efficient. Yes. Agreed. I, mm, okay. I can send a spending, sending spell and let them know when you're going to come. You're going to be in disguise, and you're going to be giving that phrase, correct? Yes. That is correct. Uh, Greckles, you're going to have to help me, I suppose, disguise my voice. I've seen you do it before. I'm not the best at doing voices, I guess. Well, that's, that's built in the blood of every Kenku, my friend. You just have to practice. Uh, not every Kenku, unfortunately. He, respond, he responds in Remy's voice. Well, then I guess I'll just have to show you the correct way. Oh, that is terrifying. How? Uh, please don't do that again. Um... That was really odd. Can you do me? I mean, I can try really, really hard, but... Oh, know, my God. <laughs> it is spot on. Turn. That is really frightening. Wow. Oh, do you want to uh... see something even more frightening? Watch this. Uh, cast Disguise Self to look exactly like Audrey. Oh, hey, that's perfect. Uh, uh, well, not there, quite. We don't there, want them to look like you. Yeah, it'll probably have to look like someone else. Well, it's just it's just a simple gesture to show you what it's capable of. Although though there is one problem, Audrey, if I can see your hand momentarily. Sure, she shows her hand. Um, Greckles will take her hand and place it on her beak on his beak where a oh. nose should be. Oh, she kind of like takes the hand and kind of like goes all the way up and then eventually pokes you in the eye by accident. I uh, sorry. It's, no, it's fine. It's it's all okay. an illusion, and I'm still that, trying to get better at that. That should be okay, because no one no one should touch you. That's good. That's good to know. That was another question. Yeah, but... no one should. The only people who would would be maybe your paladin grabbing you to shove you out of the way or in the way, um, or um, Aftar, but Audrey, Aftar won't be outside the wall. Audrey, I do have a very important question for you. Do mm -hmm. you still have your holy symbol? She kind of reaches up and touches it. Yeah. I'm going to confide something very, very important to you. And I want you to understand that this is a matter of trust. I might need that in a show of good faith to prove, <laughs> to, to, to prove who I am actually not. But don't for a minute think that I don't know how important it is to you. Because back at home, I have a holy symbol of Orin myself that belonged to a very dear friend. 
I can't cast spells if you take this, okay? I understand. No, you're gonna have to tell Gruel. She gives you this very serious look. I, I'm, I'm sure we can handle that. It's important to the plan. If we want to sell him as a cleric, he would have some kind of holy symbol. Okay. She. Let me send the sending spell first. Like she's almost like a kid having to give up her favorite we, toy. We she's don't like, need it just five more right. minutes. Yes, of course. Okay. We we may not even need it for that long. After all, we're going in to simply tell the clerics and leave, aren't we? Well. You're gonna have to get them away from their paladins. If the paladin knows mm. notice they're gone, that's gonna be. I I had an idea. I don't know how feasible it is. Let's hear it. So, I believe you said that there were fourteen potential pairs of paladins and clerics that will be out there, if not more. I have no idea. And then there's guards on top of that potentially too. All right. Well, I've been thinking. Uh, either panic or task could do this. I assume panic will be somewhere nearby, in the shrubbery, looking for us to lead at least one of the clerics to him so he could get her out if we have task or panic make some kind of noise in the shrubbery i assume maybe there's trees nearby we could try to assemble the paladins and clerics we wanted to go investigate myself those three clerics and their paladins and grackles once we are far enough away from the group to investigate if everyone is on the same page we should be able to at least capture the other two or three paladins we're not stupid. She looks at you like, <clears throat> we're not going to go because of some noise. We're going to stay close to the wall. They're holed up really hard. And if we <sighs> hear something, we're not going to go check. We're probably going to. Great. I know I've brought this up once before, and I don't mean this as a means of death, but rather of distraction. Is there any large flammable source of anything in the in the encampment? Well, they're cutting down trees. So there should be some fresh wood, possibly brush. Has it rained recently? No, it's been Okay. I mean it gets it's a little humid here, but it's from the ocean. It's not mm. like it's not like from rain. It's what been if actually my... relatively dry. For a spring, it's been pretty nice. A story one of my old masters told me, Remy, is uh in order to break into a heavily fortified castle with only three other men, he actually leapt to the wall and found a, a nearby pile of hay to use as kindling, and then just set fire to the entire compound. Not a soul was lost, but they all did flee. It's funny you mentioned that. You mentioned that once before, did you not? I did, but it was far more destructive. Just, it, don't, it was for a just don't forget, Masters of Fire, remember? Yes, it would be quite easy for them to probably extinguish it, if not control it. Well, it is possible, because most people who can control it would be Athtar, or, um, she kind of scratches her head. Oh, I forgot about someone. Oh, let's hear it. Who? There's a sorcerer. That's uh, right. Ah, the sorcerer. There's a sorcerer. Um, Does yeah, you, have... you saw him, Remy, on the boat. He was this really haughty looking dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't, oh, that's a pun. Um, you didn't get a good look at him, but you, you did see, um, Aftar, like, handing off the magical items to him. So that makes a lot of sense. He he shouldn't be a problem. He usually stays within like the main tent along with Aftar and he doesn't really go too far from there. Kind of sticks his nose in his books and leaves us alone, thankfully. Well, Audrey, all things considered, like I said, this isn't meant to destroy the entire encampment. It's merely to get attention. The question is, do you think it would get their attention long enough to do what we need to do? I think it would. Hmm. I mean, it depends. It's all situational but i think it would at this point uh gruel kind of walks into the room is he with huffing. porky and panic no he's by himself oh. at this point like because he left earlier than the rest of them got it and he's kind of huffy at this point he kind of looks at the three of you and he goes how's it going hail gruel uh it's the plans are actually coming together we have targets a plan is slowly coming together we're figuring mm -hmm. out how these fire throwers behave and act it's interesting to say the least he kind of looks at you. Uh, roll an insight check. Both of us are just Greckles? Uh, just Greckles for this. Okay. That nice. is an 18. <clears throat> wow, okay. <laughs> Didn't have to roll very well. He's not hiding his emotions. He kind of <laughs> looks at you, Greckles, like, why are you here? Let the two of them be there. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of got this look like, 
great. You're here. Good. Not like in a mean way, but in like a. Oh, I know. Oh, Remy great, Greckles. <laughs> I, I actually, I, I assure you, Gruel, uh, this won't take too long. Uh, something wrong, Gruel. No. <clears throat> How are you all getting along? We're getting along fine. You're also a terrible liar. What do you think I'm lying about? <laughs> it's not important. <laughs> Audrey, I believe we have some more things to talk about. Oh, uh, we do? Yes. I, I wanted to know, this, this sorcerer, is there any reason that he could potentially come outside to investigate this fire, or would it be someone else that would handle it? Um, if it got out of control, he would probably come out. Mm. Lovely. But if he does, and if you guys are still there, then she kind of looks like thousand yard stare. I haven't seen much of what he does, but from what I know, he's very powerful. All right. So ideally he's not involved. If he does get involved, we should, well, I think that's the end of it. We get who we can and get out. Mm -hmm. Worst case scenario, we run. Yes. We also had a question for you, Gruel. He's just kind of staring. Yeah. What is uh, the holy symbol that Audrey uses to heal your men and conduct her magics? When the time is right, I wish for Greckles to take it with him to keep up the ruse. He would have something if he was a cleric of Orin. Gruel kind of looks to Audrey, and Audrey goes, I can't heal without it. He kind of. <sighs> Very well. well. That's much appreciated. Should, this should not take a long period of time. Mm. How did your interrogation go? Ah, the boy is an idiot, but he's still one of ours. We got enough information, I think. So or... he's willing to help us, then? Ah, a few nights in a cage might give him a bit of perspective, but yes, he's willing to help us. Well, I Speaking had of help... I... Oh, oh dear. <clears throat> Zagu yes? is going to be accompanying us for this next part of your mission. Since we don't expect to see combat, hopefully. I'm, I'm sorry, who? Sagu. Ah, of course. Our shaman. Y yes, of, of course. She has a that's spell the, that can that's, make us. That's the, that's that's the old lady, right? That's the old druid lady, yeah. Oh, the old druid lady. Got it. So yeah. his mother, right? It's his mother, you think. You don't know. but. It's mom's um, uh, she has uh, a spell that can hide you. At least uh, hide you easier. Hide us how exactly? From sight, from smell, detection, from, from... sound, smell. Uh, oh, all of it. It's My a good goodness. thing to have. Yes, yes mm. it is. Druids. Mm -hmm. uh, I I was thinking, Gruel. Um, we were trying to come up with a distraction for the paladins, but if you think your old slash new friend would be helpful, I have another idea that might also cause a distraction and potentially get us more orcs back. I'm listening. At, well, this point, have... at this point, Borky and Panic, you guys emerge as well. Ah, perfect. Uh, exactly just... who I wanted to see. Bo no, Borky. Just, uh, it's just, uh, oh, yeah, one second. Just need to finish, finish off what we're saying to Panic. Uh, Panic, I brought you along because, you know, you really helped me be better. So I'm glad you came along, even if you didn't add anything to the conversation. <laughs> I'm glad I could be moral support, Borky. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right. Exactly right. Oh, hey, what's going on? Uh, strategizing, mostly. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Are we, oh, isn't that just repeating what we talked about last time? Uh, to an extent, it's the next phase of the plan, uh, mm. and I'm glad you're here. I was speaking with Gruul, and I had an idea for a way you might be able to help us. Okay. I mean, like, I figured, like, you know, like Pank says, moral support, because you guys are like the sneaky birds. So well, like... I thought we might not have to be the only sneaky ones, potentially hit them on two fronts. Again, it's just an idea. And okay. Just well, I'm, I'm all, I'm, I, I have two ears, so I can't be all ears, but yeah. Let's hear right. it. Uh, so, we have a dragon of some young age in our mist, yes? Captured? I mean, unless yep. Task, unless task killed it. Gruel kind of I, looks... I don't see why he would slay a dragon. They're also He's done red it before. scales. So hope... <laughs> oh, uh, he's done it before. Regardless. <laughs> well, unless we start hearing fire in cackling or something, I think we're fine. It's okay. So, my idea is we need to keep up the ruse that nothing has happened. As of right now, they're expecting a delivery that isn't going to come. Mm. If that happens, all of a sudden they will be on high alert. Mm. My worry is if that begins to happen when we're trying to 
evacuate a couple of the clerics, that's going to be a very big problem. It's going to be harder to separate them. Okay. So, my idea was for you, in disguise, since apparently we can change what people look like, to go with the other orc that we have captured. Uh, and... time out there, Remy. Uh, that, yes. that, that's... <sighs> I can only do that to myself. Oh. Yeah. Well, wait. He can only blew himself. We all saw Zenrio become a giant monkey, right? Yeah, Zenrio's got polymorph yep. too. If I'm not mistaken, your your friend whose name escapes me, um, the fish, uh, Zenrio. Yes, Zenrio, lovely boy. Um, I believe he has the capability to also change the shape of a humanoid type creature. Yeah, but I think it's like random. It. That's awful. I mean, we could just ask him. <laughs> No, it's not awful. It's wild magic. It's crazy magic. Random that, effects. That... Random effects happen at certain intervals. We had an employee who was a user of wild magic. So, yeah, you distinctly remember panic at one point. You came back and and uh, Euro Magister was completely blue, and he was very embarrassed about it. He told you to move along, <laughs> and you were like, "All right," and you just kept about. He's like, "I don't want to yeah, talk the, about it." The <laughs> random effects only happen sometimes, so... He okay. he also turned uh, Borky blue, right? When we were, like, I think it was at the war room, just to, like, tease him. Did he turn you blue? No, Your I turned him blue? invisible. Turned yeah. him invisible, that's what it was. Invisible. Yeah. Reckles has in yeah. invisibility, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so at this point, at this point, uh, Task and Zenrio, you guys enter the war room as well. Ah! Uh, Norm. So, what'd you get out of the dragon? Okay, so... Um, there's a guy, uh, uh -huh. Farkas, and he's, uh, a, a, Hold a on. leader. Far you said his name was Farkas. Yeah, th that's right. Mm -hmm. Right, Task? Does he turn around to look at Task to ask that? Yeah. Everyone else will see the upside down arrow on the back of his head. What? Okay, um, I think that's his name. Uh, but anyway. Farkas. Darkest. That, okay, sorry, my uh, oh, the guy you're looking for. Oh, that guy. He's the wait, leader. Wait, of the, he's the leader of the dragon cultists. Oh, Ooh, that complicates everything. That is... Oh, oh dear. Unpredictable. His Enemy next... of His... yours. Gruel kind of turns and looks to you, Task. Slayed my entire civilization. The whole reason why I went to Alavast to find him and kill him. I pray to Ganesh that you bathe in his blood one day. From what we were, from what we found out, he's taken the north, he's taken the swamps, and now his men aim their sights for the coast. Uh, Taz, there. he he is still alive, though. Yes. Yes. Oh, all right, that's good news. I was going over a plan to potentially use him as bait, you want me to be or at back? least to keep up a ruse. So what you, you want is you, you want is the second. So okay, what, go ahead. So you want a distraction, pretty much, yeah? Yes, my concern is if we don't deliver the dragon like they're expecting, at least one of them, they're going to know what's up, and yeah. they are going to be more prepared if we try to, well, take their clerics from them. Okay, so here's the thing, though. The task, you, you sit there chatting with the dragon. I'm guessing that you and Zenrio, like, managed to pal around, and now he's our friend, he'll work with us? Yeah, well, I was, um... I was bad cop, and Task was, like, angry cop. What the hell and, is a cop? You know, like, uh, when you cop a feel, you know, like, when you cop, I see. You know, <laughs> kind of so puts, we his like puts, his, puts his hand, put his leg up on a table, interesting. So Doros he... back in Alavast just sneezed for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, you know, like, when you take something, we were taking information. And, um, yeah, so we found out that, uh, yeah, the, the, the red dragon, well, first of all, red dragons are mean. They're you mean. Don't that's say. true. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. Yeah. They were like, he was like, I want to set things on fire. I want to get a lot of treasure. I want to. Typical you know, dramatic dragon in nature. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I asked if, you know if he would think about being nice and he gave me this whole discussion where he was like, well, what does that mean for me? And I, I don't know. I, I still think there's good in everybody. And even if it's a red dragon, I still think that we could be his friend if we really tried. 
Uh, you are you are denying me so much retribution right now, Zenrio. Look, but I said it's a cycle. It's a negative cycle. You know, things just get worse the more Zenrio. you get into it. Okay, yes. What have you ever lost? Um, one time I found this really cool looking rock, and then I thought I said it on my nightstand, but then I went back and Zenrio, was, let yeah. me rephrase the question. Okay. Who, who have you ever lost? Well, um, I, uh, I haven't really lost very much. Let me return this around, Greckles. Tass looks over to him. Like, just like, just pale, like, just blank face, just like, I'm letting this slide because it will only just make me worse at my job right now. Let me rephrase something a little bit. Though the conversation with the Red Dragon was of selfish gain on my part. I don't know if, uh, remember our little information we discovered about the Silver Kobolds? Right. Apparently that doesn't, that struck a nerve with our Red Dragon friend. Oh, he wasn't really? really, like, afraid. He was more like, just like, what? Like, you yeah, just no, no, him, no. Like... I, I'm not saying he's afraid. I'm saying, like, yeah. he's, he's just like, oh, that struck a nerve. Like, before, yeah. You just told him Santa exists, except for not in a happy way. Morky yeah. kind of grabs Zenrio by the <laughs> shoulder. Santa. And, and Morky grabs out Zenrio by the head and kind of ruffles his head tendrils. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it's okay, man. Uh, I know he's back on, back on point here, so that's, that's a yeah. no-go with the living dragon, so how about I bring back the dead one that's in pieces, and, and I'll be all like, look what happened! Zenrio, I want you to roll an intelligence check for me, because I just checked something that might be of use. Okay. Ooh. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Eight. Eight. Let's see here. You, with your polymorph, might be able to turn into that dragon that's in the pen. Ho <laughs> ho! Um. Okay. Uh, hey guys, what if I was the dragon? That what? would work. Oh, you wait, no. Pull it off. Tass no, I, is like I, holding in laughter right now. Just I trying can't, so hard. I can't because it's got to be a beast. Oh, it has to be a beast. It has to be a beast. Does it say specifically? Yes, it can only be. Oh, it can only be only beast. a beast. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The DM yeah. could make an exception beast. though for a really good right. idea. That's really no. cool. <laughs> uh, okay. That'd be too I much. misread that. Dang. Let's, okay. We, I got excited. Okay. I was like, time rewind. That was your hey, alien guys. play. How about how, 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 <laughs> how about how about I just bring the dead dragon? And what would we were what? double? And I'd say we were double crossed. Uh, it's not a bad idea. The problem is they're probably going to want to interrogate the both of you, which could very easily destroy the ruse, and then you're stuck in there. God, I really wish I could have tried to be a mean dragon as Zenrio, because that would have been so much fun. I know. <laughs> I, know, I know, I know. I looked into it before. I was like, maybe this is an option, maybe. And I was like, oh, nah. I just I okay. skipped it, and I missed the beast part. Sorry. It's all good. Oh, that should fair. be folded. I mean, if, we're planning if, on getting it, out before then. Rob. If it were if it were anything, that would have to be between Remy and myself. If we were posing as those coming back, you're not well, going back no, at all. there were two. There were there were two orcs sent. I'm talking about specifically. Oh, that's, right, that's, the right, dragons. that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And if we do this simultaneously, we could potentially get access to the female and male orcs to speak with, because obviously they're going to be in the very front as well as the clerics who we will be dealing with. And it gives us all the ability to try to gain more allies. The more we can dwindle their numbers, the better. Um, I don't know if that's going to work. Why not? The orcs are a lot more disposable than we are. I don't know for certain, but you guys might be disposed of if you failed. <sighs> I don't know. Like, I'm not certain they might let you in, but... Letting you back out, probably not. And even then, well, um, here's the thing: just... we need a distraction. And you guys were talking about fire, and they know how to use fire, so I don't know how that good is. That. Well, what would be the ultimate thing to rile up the orcs and 
the clergy at the same time. Someone they're not expecting. Not one of us. We gotta save that little tidbit for later. There, Gru, what was the name of your former leader? Huh? Oh, I believe it was Snaglag, the one who left. Snaglag. Yeah. What will happen if Snaglag appeared to have set to fire? How are you going to frame him for setting the fire? I'm going to be Snaglack. The Marquis just uh, smiles. Gruel kind of turns to Audrey and goes, "At this point, Snaglack's kind of Avatar's lap dog." Well, it would be yes. hard to it would be hard to impersonate someone. No, I mean, no, I, know, I, I, I meant the leader who died. Oh, the leader oh. Who died. Mm. That's Don't like, make oh, me gotcha. dig through my old, old, old as fuck his, notes. Yeah, that's <laughs> really old notes. What, what's his name? What was his name, though? That's all I need. Oh, I don't know. One second. Talk amongst yourselves and your plans. I'll oh, I'm sorry. This, right. is, this, this is... All right, can we do this out of character just for expedience? Yeah, that's Yay. fine. All right, so, so Curtis, Curtis, so your your idea is to impersonate whoever this guy is. Yeah. The and then do leader. what? And so you're going to set the fire and let everybody see that it was you? Yeah, and I can handle, and if, and if they go after me, I can handle, I can take the most beating out of all of us. So, well, yeah, but here, this this could work because you can also be made oh, invisible. I found it. Holy shit, so, I actually found it. Yeah. Uh, Gruul turns to you goes, his name was Orvar, and he was my brother. Well, so that is... How would the orcs react if Orvar appeared at Ovar? Was back. At the Probably. very least, they might believe that Ganasha sent one of his, uh, would it be angels? Uh, uh, <laughs> the look Gruel gives you. When I am you not say familiar that. with. I am not familiar with the terminology, but demons. Uh, yes, avatar of his will, perhaps, mm. is the way to say it. Here's the thing: it was lacking something, but right there, right there, the orcs will freak out if Olvar is back. And I can say, you can inform me about what a, a, an acolyte of Nash would say. I, I, it's mm -hmm. not, this could be what we, exactly what we need. The orcs would then be separate. And then the paladins will be running to try and stop that from happening, obviously. There'll be a fire think, on fire. Oh, I don't think that'll work though, because the orcs are behind the wall. Nonetheless, they'll, they'll know that it was over. Or they'll they be would have to, they would have to see it, Borky. No, I will la be as loud as I possibly can. As loud as Borky can. He will bellow it out. I mean, Lorky, Borky can't be pretty loud. Yep, Borky's a loud son of a bitch. There we go. Gruel kind of rubs his beard. Audrey is kind of... Mm, but they're willing to listen to you. They're going to try and help you whatever they can. So then what, Remy and, I, Remy and I would go in at that point, or? Exactly. Well, we'd already be there. We would use the fire he sets as the distraction to get out the clerics. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Panic when, uses well, his magic door. For uh, at least one of them, yes. Uh, I could but, turn someone into a lobster. Getting you in, Zen, would be really, really hard. Oh, I didn't mean me. I meant somebody else. I meant you knew one of them. Because, like, what's a lobster going to do, right? Oh! Delicious. Anyway, my only concern guess, is sure. that if there's a big commotion, the Palins would immediately grab their clerics, making it relatively counterproductive to what we're trying to do. Uh, we have a scroll that we made, did we not? Uh, Grandma made you guys a scroll, I think. What, was it invisibility or was it something else? A spider That's climb. It was, it it was, was spider, spider climb. climb. That was right. That was right. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's not useful here in this yeah, situation. Yeah, never mind. No. Though, uh, if someone gets trapped and needs to escape, that might be something. That's what I'm saying. Is some, whoever, like, Borky could take it with him and then have to, he could climb up a freaking mountain if he has to. Mm -hmm. Or could be right on top of the tallest tree, right by the edge of the, of the base, so they could all see him from the top of a tree as he lights you guys it have on fire. Are you guys on the map? Sorry, I should give you guys the map. Yeah. Yeah, we cannot see the Oh, map. there we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, Sorry. I, I realize I put it over there. So okay, if, so if above, Audrey, above... Audrey's above game, Audrey's going to point out this is where. Yeah. They're going to be trimming trees. This purple outline. Okay. Okay. Got that it. Is okay. The front of it. Um, in fact, I'll go over here. They're going to be around here, is what she points out, because she's heard that them talking about like trimming those trees for a while, because it's starting to be cover, okay. and it's the point where someone could climb them and then jump over the wall, and obviously they don't want that. So. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. And those gates are going to be closed, I assume, while they're out there. You have no idea. 
okay so so kurt here's what i'm thinking yeah uh do we have an exact time of when they're going to go out there after dawn prayer so right after sunrise okay okay so we at the very least we know the doors will be open then then we also know the doors are going to have to open for them to go back in so depending upon how long this trimming is supposed to last you could technically set the fire as the doors are opening for people to go back in which would give them a glimpse of who you are and then gtfo i could use how does the invisibility work exactly the, the moment you make the moment you make an action it drops yeah would yeah, so you would have climbing, to set the spider, fire and would, then... sp would spider climbing up work? Activate the inaction? Where would you where would you where go you? up though? You'd up go tree. up the wall, but there's people there. I'd go up a tree, the tallest tree there they're, is. They're cutting down the trees. Oh. You guys would all be if you guys are hiding anywhere, you're at the base of the tree line because that's yeah. the only way you're gonna see anything. Mm -hmm. And they're they're cutting down all the other trees. So there is, okay. the other tree will be down. This is the other yeah. thing that we could consider. So we have three clerics that we're trying to get out. Mm -hmm. If we can only get one or two out. The third cleric could make sure that the orcs know who did it. She could, like, we'll, we'll, a promise to get her out is is one thing. It doesn't have to be right now. But if that whatever cleric we can't get out is willing to stay in there uh, for looking, a little bit I'm longer. the map, the ridge on the left. How high up above where? the camp is that? We, oh, we okay, determined yeah. that is not climbable. You can get in, but you cannot get out. No, it I just, if Borky was on worry. top of it, though. Okay. Not going down the ridge, but being on top of it. Looking down you wouldn't be able to see anything from there. You from the top of a ridge? No, it's it's not. It's like, but it's a big everything. giant jagged rocks. It's like it's like a sea edge. Like it's not, not a vantage point. I'm gonna just say flat out, not a vantage point. You'll be too far away from anything to, to get any effect. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's uh, the, guys. Here's the other yeah. problem. If they're tallying heads and they notice two more heads that came out of nowhere, how are we gonna figure that we one out? We don't know they're tallying heads, dude. Yeah, we, don't. We, we we don't know that they're telling heads, and the goal is to be in and out before they figure out that All we're right. there. All right. I'm going to say like, at this point, what's your plan? What is your plan? Time's up. What is your plan? Okay, so do we want Borky to try to set a fire or yeah. no? Borky will set the fire. He'll also uh, look like Orvar. Orvar. All right, okay. so <clears throat> Remy and Remy and Greggles are going in disguised as a paladin and a cleric. Correct. You are going to be in the shrubbery sneaking around because that's mm -hmm. where we're going to have to get one of the clerics to you. Mm -hmm. Um, either you're gonna have to run to them, or they're gonna have to run to you, and then you're just gone. I, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll just have to, I'll have to sneak through somehow. And yeah, play, play it by ear. If they can get to you, we're gonna. There's gonna be a code so that they know that the that we're there and in position. If they can get to you, great. If not, then I, I trust Panic's judgment to be able to get to them. Gruel is doing something too. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but you're gonna like it. Okay, okay. Um, Audrey is going to send the sending spell and relay as much information as 25 words so that she can spare because that is all she has left for the day. Um, and uh, one thing I would request of Audrey, if she could make a very simple healing scroll, if I, if I had to fake healing, I'd like to have some kind of way of doing that. She doesn't know how to. That's the unfortunate thing. They don't. Wow. Okay. What, 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 can, what cantrips do you have? Greckles? <laughs> nothing that's gonna if push comes to sh if push comes to shove i can heal you guys there you go no 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 that's not the problem he the wants problem, to fake he look like to, he's healing he it's to, to fake it do you do you have uh press the digitation you have, you have the no. healing wand you could give oh wait no you don't no we don't it's no, I gone don't. that's right everything's gone remember yeah, you took gone. everything from us i did i did take everything up. i have mage hand firebolt and minor illusion that ain't gonna be much to pass for a cleric a ma don't. minor illusion is an illusory effect, right? So you can make it look like you cast something. They don't have to know what. No. Make it look like no. it's... Oh, no. Spe specifically, it creates a, a an illusion of an object. It should be okay, because most clerics usually only heal their own paladins. Only in times of great crisis do they heal other paladins. Yeah. Okay, didn't know that one. Okay, Got it. So, and, yeah, but, yep. but, but anyways... Okay. Uh, now, our plan is in place. You guys need to know what you guys are doing. It's one cool last thing. Yep. Uh, I, Aud Audrey... Mm -hmm. Now I I don't know if I'm going to be able, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to to, to the one cleric that I need to get out. Uh, as I am right now, I might be you know a target, and I point to my horns. Uh huh. Can I borrow your clothes? <laughs> uh, I actually kind of need to borrow those, buddy. I mean, I could just make you straight up invisible. You you could be in and out in a heartbeat. That's fair. Um... Actually, that works. Yeah. If Panic's invisible, he's fine. Mm hmm. Uh, you guys, you guys, all right. I thought you pretty good in this class. It, yeah. it lasts it lasts a solid hour, so we have more so than enough time. So above game, then, do we want to leave Zen 
and Task to keep dealing with the dragon since the, he's still in the camp. Let's take everybody with the, us. The, the, yeah. Okay, cool. Zito, yeah. Zito's going to be covering the back end, and I kind of want Zenryo to maybe help Borky with his illusion. Yep. Golden rule, he guys. Has to help you. Golden rule, don't split the party. Yep. <laughs> Not for something like this, either. Uh, I was just going to ask, like, what... Okay, so I didn't want to take away from anyone. I was just like, where do I fit in this? Okay, so uh, here's what I would recommend, Task. Uh, they're going to have archers all along the wall. So what I would do, because your perception's pretty high, look for if they notice anything when we show up and then have some kind of signal to let us know whether it's a whistle or, or anything, just mm. so that we know, hey, they, they're, they're starting to figure it out. Like, oh, they've done a, a head count up on the wall, or there's paladins starting to look around like, wait, where did they come from? Gruel, so I would what... say you, you have to be a lookout. All right, so wait a minute. Gruel, uh, what's the loudest like creature that lives around here, and what's its discernible noise? Hmm. Probably the great ocean moose. <laughs> <laughs> What's it sound like? Ooh. Yeah, like that. All right, so so I okay. will roll, I will roll a survival check to mimic that. All right. You practice that. I'm going to practice that. <laughs> um. Nice. Okay. Hey, what, like do the, what do we do with the dragon? Do you just want me to, you know? Him... Oh no no the no! The orcs no. can guard him if need be. The dead one, no. I already got an idea. Borky just smiles. Oh, yes. Okay. No, I'm gonna Desk. I'm gonna chuck it and be like, look what I did, which is not a lie. The question is how I, now Desk. I have to blue myself. Task. Uh, do, do we know what they wanted the dragons for in the first place? To have them. Sort you, you guys figure out what happened. I think the mm -hmm. dragon relayed to you, Task, that there was a sorcerer that wanted them. Yeah, a sorcerer just yeah. Wa a sorcerer wanted them. Apparently, their sorcerer had a way to control them, and they had like-minded. Their 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 uh, conquest is a like-minded uh, situation. So they were going to use them and not for a ritual. It was going to be actual service. Like yes. Pet. More, more like soldiers, or more like, like contracting yeah. A mercenary, yeah, yeah, contracting mercenaries. I see. Task, uh, all things considered, if the silver, if the silver kobolds threw them for a loop and they didn't know that, that's probably information they don't need to know, and it may not be the best thing to keep that thing alive. <sighs> Tash just looks over at Zenrio. Tell that to him. He's the only thing that's keeping that thing alive at this point. Look, I would recommend if there's no harm in keeping it alive for now and the orcs can guard it, we take care of that part of the plan when we get back. Yeah. yeah and the I mean, moment that that is not true, Gruul would like a new helmet. Hmm? There you, go. you know, I'm just not a big fan of, you know, murder. Okay, You're in an but... orc camp, boy. Murder is a way of life here. Mm, that's now, unfortunate. Trust me, Finn, I know how you feel. Everybody, take your count, sharpen your weapons. Tomorrow at dawn, we make our way to the camp. Can I ask? I will need, I will need, okay, one, qu one quick thing though. Holy God, I need more arrows. Okay, oh yeah, you get, you can get hooked up with arrows. <laughs> okay. uh, I have uh, the... four arrows left. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, real, real. Let's see how many arrows the hunters have. They have 29 arrows. But that is all the arrows they have, so. Can I, can I have 15? They are willing to part with 15. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, real quick, uh, Borky would like to, you don't even have to do this in character, just talk to Gruul about how Borky can blue himself. <laughs> Gruul literally looks at you and goes, it was your plan, figure it out. Shoot. He's not uh, a disguise guy, well, I don't, like... <laughs> well, we talked about it, Zen would probably be able to help you with that, that's who to talk to. Yeah. You can polymorph to adjust features, I think. I've, mm -hmm. I've heard of that happening, but alter alter self is, like, mm -hmm. the one you're usually supposed to use. Po uh, polymorph is, like, uh, oh, I mean, keep in mind, polymorph is beast only. Yeah. So I can only turn you into something. Oh, so it wouldn't even count for an orc. Mm. No. Yeah. That's a humanoid. Well, does minor illusion turn somebody blue? Would that, or is that too, is that nope. major? It can't, there's, there's no possible way... That no, Greco's would be able to layer that over Borky. It would. I will say this over. because if there are spells that specifically do that exact thing, mm. other spells can't really do that. So disguise self, it doesn't. Oh no, you don't have a disguise. Does the encampment have any paint? They might actually. Shoot actually, blue areas. tribal paint would absolutely I was, work. I was about yeah. to say. Yeah, that was my fallback. Shuga? Do they just have a, a, a paint bucket or something? You're gonna panic. You're gonna have to go talk to Shuga. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Shuga. Hey, hey, hey. 
Panic <laughs> walks in, walks in, sugar, sugar. <laughs> uh, so you're gonna seek out paint. All right, uh, Panic, you go. You you are directed by Gruel, who at this point is upset because there's no grouse tonight because there's a potential for battle tomorrow. Um, and plus there's a crap load of preparations. In fact, once you guys kind of leave the encampment and you hear Gruel barking some orders, besides the two guys guarding the dragon and like a few guards kind of encircling the camp, the place is empty at this point. Um, but you do notice panic off into the distance in a corner, a tiny little hut, um, with a ton of smoke coming out of it, uh, as you approach by yourself. There's no door, but a flap on the front. I knock on the flap. <laughs> as you do, bellows of smoke come out. It smells like, like sage and burning incense. You have no idea what this is. <laughs> Eh? You watch as this old, wrinkled, almost avocado, sunken in face. Yes! Mm. <laughs> Greetings. Uh, my name is Panic. Uh, I hear you are Shuga. Mm. She smiles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! It's Babushka! Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> she kind of like waves her hand to let you in. <laughs> Best character. Yeah. All right. I, I, I panic walks in. All right. Uh, as as you do, it's, just, it's all smoke, and she kind of waves her hand, and eventually the smoke kind of dissipates over time. She offers you a cup of tea. Sure. Roll a Constitution saving throw. Awesome. <laughs> and before I nat one again, just what? like my butthole. <laughs> Eight. Ooh, not great. Uh, as you take a sip of the tea, you, you try very hard not to immediately just spit it out. It is so strong. It literally tastes up, tastes like ground up, like rubber band tree sap. It is just awful. Mm, hearty. <clears throat> Good afternoon. <laughs> Addict's face shrinks to like five times its normal size. <laughs> so take she kind of rests off. her hands over her, uh, she's got like this like carved, uh, staff and she kind of rests her hands and looks at you. Kind of blinking, you can barely see her eyes. Uh, yes. <clears throat> Uh, I was, uh, I was wondering if you, uh, had any paint I could, uh, borrow. And she kind of turns around, you watch her kind of dig through some different, uh, clay, clay, clay pots and things like that, a few baskets. And eventually she pulls out a fistful of what looks like blueberries, like wild blueberries. Mm -hmm. I know that that is what they use for paint, quote unquote. Uh, roll, roll knowledge history, I'd say, from your time being here so far. 12. Okay. No, she's, she's, she's trying to figure out what exactly you want. Uh, like, paint, paint, like, you know, I, I like, you know, I, I, I like do like the football player, I, like, lines under the eyes motion. Okay, let me roll for Shuga's intelligence. Oh, and I'm going to I'm going to press digitation as I move my finger. I'm going oh, to okay. leave a line of black. She actually rolled a natural nineteen, and she goes, Ooh. ah. She kind of turns yeah. around, feeling her finger. Uh, you watch her go to a jar, and she lifts it up, uh, and you see inside like it looks like some sort of like powder pigment of some kind. Um, definitely smells. Um, and she like she puts the jar over, hands it to you gently. Mm. Thank you. And she hands you another jar of water. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. oh, and she kind of pinches your cheek a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you hear her say something as she kind of waves goodbye to you. Gnash. <laughs> and then the tent flap goes down. You, have a, you currently have uh, enough blue... Uh, to easily cover Borky, um, and probably two other people if you need to. Dabba dee, dabba die. Dude, yeah. she gave you blue. Mm -hmm. She gave you blue. I got oh, Papushka! Blue. Papushka yeah. orc! I All got right. blue. Now Becky will let me smash. <laughs> there, will no, there will be no smashing tonight. Uh, there is no grouse. Uh, is ah, for, beans. Yeah, called for battle. <laughs> um, you do notice panic while you're on your way back. You do see Gruel and Audrey talking. Um, kind of off to the side of the campment a little bit, and it's just like she's kind of giving him this look, and he's just like, oh, he's kind of like talking to her. Um, but it's a little ways out. What do you do? Going to 
uh, act like I'm walking by, and then when it seems like the coast is clear, I'm going to uh, going to duck into the nearest place where I can hear them. Okay, roll a stealth check. Oh dear do, goodness do, gracious! <laughs> Wait, Greckles? Do, 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 do. What? Twenty one. Wow. He is Greckles. He is Greckles. Wow. Okay. The roll. I didn't know you had polymorph too. Good roll. They Good roll. both rolled sixes. <laughs> On both dice, that's crazy. Um, plus Audrey's, no, not that good. Okay. It's because I did uh, the doo doo. Ch -ch 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 yeah, they didn't even notice. They're just too, too busy talking. You dive into a bush. Roll a perception check with advantage. Do 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 do. Perception. Yeah. Here we go. So, nice. Well. 18. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you, as you're like, you kind of like peek. You pull back the bushes. You have your two pots in your hand. Your Audrey you go. I'm I. I'm sorry, I don't understand, though. And Gruel's like, I just mean, what you get past the feathers, I mean, pretty, you know, <laughs> pretty, you know, strong, robust, has a excellent beak. Lovely plumage. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know if you know this, I don't know him that well. Uh, I mean, you don't know him yet. <clears throat> Gruel kind of leans up against, like, a post. She goes, yes, but I, we haven't had a relationship until this whole thing happened, okay? Like, that's, I don't, I don't understand. What are you, what are you asking about? Why, why do you care about this so much? Just, well, you know, it's just, if you two are going to be here for a while, I'd just like to know how you're all getting along. She kind of narrows eyes. Right, okay, I'm going to go. Yeah. I'll go also. Preparations to be made. Uh, have a good night. And he kind of walks away, and Audrey just kind of shakes her head and begins to walk towards the bush. And you should roll another stealth check for me. Man, big horned guys do not know how to talk to women. <laughs> good thing your horns are small. It's not the size of the horns, it's how you use them. Roll a stealth check. Big yeah, horn I'm, look, I'm looking for it. <laughs> We're stalling. Hey! hey! No, that's a 16 for her. She walks right by you, doesn't even notice at all. She kind of shakes her and goes, what a weird guy. Just kind of keeps going. Right, uh, at this point, as you guys prepare for the following day, we're going to take a break here. Okay. Sweet. Yay. What are you, Gronk? If you just don't move, they won't see you? Gronk. Gronk. To be fair, to be fair panic is kind of, uh, it's like a brimstony color, and it is nighttime. I thought you were going to say it's getting dark and he blends in, and that's racist. <laughs> what? That's terrible. Right, Why would you I say gonna, that, Monty? I am going to go and, and get something to drink, though. You I should don't do have that. I'll stay here with the chat. Who's staying with me in the chat? Love you, chat. I'm here. I'm going to quickly nice. scarf down some, like half of my dinner. Nice. We are, going to, uh, we are going to jump right to where you guys would be, so. Oh, okay, cool. All right. So no we're just basic. Cool. Uh, do we heal up uh, when we rest? Long yes, rest? Yes, you do. Yeah, okay. long rest. Sweet. Everyone long rest. Spell slots are back. Everything's back. Okay. You, yeah, I'm going to replenish slots. the plenish spells. Egg stuff. salad. Egg salad. What? What are you even? What? <clears throat> Mavis Hi. was now resigned. Tears flowed down her cheeks and mixed with the blood on Johnny's chest where she rested her head. The boy whispered, oh I know I'm dying. And I, know, I also know that no. you have done. But tell me, what did you discuss with your father after the party? So you did hear us, Mavis said. We were talking about your future with me. I should ask if you wanted to become a vampire to live with me forever. But I did not have the courage. I was afraid of your rejection and having to resign to see you grow old and die. Mavis, bite me. I can't do it. I promised to my dad I wouldn't do it in any case. He told me it would be dangerous, probably lethal for both of us. But he would not say more. I'm sorry. Mavis brought her lips to the boys to give him a kiss. A kiss with the bitter taste of blood. That we, ends. Oh. So ends the prologue. Also, can we, guys, probate, You look, I see what you did. <laughs> you snuck that in while he was doing fanfic, and I know Kurt's not here to freak out. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five. That's a lot of bits. Uh, but he says, in before the plan falls apart due to a poorly timed natural one with all of the good grief and bits. Uh, right. Probate, it's been said a million times. You're freaking amazing. We really appreciate you. I don't appreciate oh, yeah. the jinx, though. I don't appreciate that you just paid to jinx us. I mean, Because you know I'm going to get that one. He already he knows. knows. That's why he did it. He knows it's going to happen. He already called it. That's, if the math by the chat is correct, that's 25,000 bits. 
Mm -hmm. That's a lot of bits. You know what can counteract the bad the bad juju though? Can you? Can you? What are you uh, gonna do? Drop twenty five thousand bits of like good juju? Uh, no, I'm gonna read the next chapter of this Hotel Transylvania. Fan no! no, 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 no! Celebration of Mavis's one hundred eighteenth birthday had ended with a shower of fireworks, which for the first time in more than a yeah. What's up? Thank you. Why do you hate us? <laughs> like why? Why I like you as a person. Why do you hate us? <laughs> No, it's listen. I'm trying to. I'm. This is called cultural enrichment. Octo, you might be my favorite human being on this planet. You might be tied with Jack Black. Oh, oh wow, really? That's, that's good company. Wow. Hey, all I'm right. right here. First of all, I don't appreciate that. Like, what the heck? I think I'm. I'm pretty like the best person ever, right? Wow. I mean, oh. you're pretty great. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, don't lie to me. What? Don't lie. What? What? Who's li who's what? lying? Who's spreading lies? Oh, Octo. Octo spread lies. No. He said I'm a just... good person. No, I was just reading more Hotel Transylvania fan fiction. Yeah, no, you didn't oh. miss anything, Monty. You should just just <laughs> duck. I am going to eat this bun. Ooh. Bun? It's like, imagine a cinnamon bun, but instead it's bread. And it's not like sweet, it's like cheese. Oh my god. Dark Ronin is right. Hey, Octo, can we form a crazy duo called Tenacious Z? Tenacious Z, I like it. Can we do it? Wait, which which one am I? Are you Jack Black or are you? No, you're Jack Black. You just got compared okay. to being the most amazing person in the world. Shit. Okay, cool. Shit. I'm, I'm down with it. Yep. And I got to go to round one in Sing Megalovania while my uh. son films me. That was wild. I can't believe that video happened. <laughs> uh. Holy cannoli. What? Jack Jumbo dropping 21,500 bits. Oh my goodness, quick Holy counter crap. than that one caused by bad bits. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Whoa. Hell yeah. Thank you so much, Jack Jumbo. Learn how to play the saxaboom and I'll and he'll love you more. Oh, I'm on it. Maybe I'm fan. Oh my god, Zen is literally papyrus from Undertale. He literally him. 1000 bits. Oh my god. Well, thank you. That they called thank you papyrus, you. I think. Oh, and thank that's you. That's awesome. That's very that's very that's a, to, Oh no, probably why? <laughs> Probate with the uh, probate probate likes to defend his comfy chair. Is that twenty five thousand again? I think if I'm doing my math right. A comfy chair. Yeah. I think so. That's the right. fanfic reading is payback for the nonstop Titus last week, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Oh my gosh! Because okay. whenever they donate. Y'all are gonna y'all are gonna make me angry, and I'm gonna have to drop some money now because I when, can't have us being jinxed. I have to pay for us not to be jinxed. Just gonna um, scarf down some chicken orzo while we're doing this. When when I uh whenever anybody donates 420 bits on my stream, it plays Titus's laugh, but slowed down. Uh, oh. If I'm if I'm doing my math right, Skull Shifter with 1500 bits, just all clover leaves. Good luck. I appreciate that. Thanks. Uh. Deluna, hey Bosco, did you decide what color scheme you would make your computer yet? Yeah, it's solid black, like the color of the case that has no windows. All of the guests, including Mavis and Jonathan, were surprised I've by this. Everyone knew the secrecy of Hotel Transylvania was Dracula. Octo! <laughs> okay, fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, by, by the way, Octo. Yeah. I just want to let you know, like, there's no anger between me as like players. Oh, that, of course. That yeah, I just I just want everyone to be clear on that. Like that guys, there's no real guys, hate. guys, but guys, but guys, that scene was so good. Both of you were so good. That was a fun. I mean, it's it's more like Zen, I know Zen is actually a little naive, but like the thing is, he's only twenty and he's never really left home. No, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like that made perfect sense. Yes, and and you were and you were playing the the whole point of why Tass was so mad. This is the whole fucking deal for him. Mm-hmm. This yep. is this is literally the reason Task is here, mm -hmm. and you talked him down from it. Yeah, also, that that's impressive. Is an asshole, Brimfang yep. is a dick. I hate I, him. I know he sucks, and I'm sh I'm like nine thousand percent sure that he sucks. But Ooh, he, but I, you're I, like, well, but he could suck and be alive, right? Yeah, he could suck he and could be get alive. Better. Also, yeah, it was it better. was I went down through memory lane digging up the one shot for role play to find that name. I'm like, oh, the stats. I remember this. <laughs> Remember these stats? Yeah. Sorry, I'm back. Dinner was not nice to me. Hi. Mm -hmm. We've been having a bit war while you were gone. Oh, that's mm -hmm. fantastic. Yep. Oof. My the great ocean. News. So I'm sure I'm sure Curtis I will can't... be able to call him off when he gets back. Yeah. Just, uh... Sorry to hurry. Oh my guys God! Along. What did I miss? 
Yeah. You missed uh, fifty thousand bits from probate, and then twenty five thousand bits from. Uh, oh. Uh, oh my gosh! Why did I forget the name? Hold on, I'm scrolling. Jack Jumbo. Jack Jumbo. That's who it is. Yeah. Oh God. Oh my um, God. Sorry to hurry you guys along with the plan too. It's just like you guys got to go, go, go. Because. Yeah. No, it's all good. Yeah. You're good. You're the DM. You tell us to go. We're going. This is. I'm so hyped. This is great. This is hype. There's so many role play moments I want to have though, but this is so hype. I'm ready for this plan to sort of work. Well, I mean, now you know why it's hard to get Greco's backstory up. There's usually not a lot of time. Yeah, I know. I feel you. No, it's all good. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a heads up so that you could just be ready mentally. Like, hey, oh, I have shit no. to talk about. I'm, I'm, I'm all kinds of prepared, so. Okay, good. <sighs> I am going to um, find the appropriate music. <laughs> yes, please. Please do. Who are we waiting on still? Uh, we're waiting on Kurt, I believe. Mm. And Connor. Oh my God, gone. I'm here. No, Connor's here. I hear him eating. I'm eating bacon. Did you see the the ocean the ocean moose? Yes, yeah, the ocean yeah, moose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Jack. so good. Do, 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 do. <laughs> this is a little too intense for a sneak mission. Okay, okay. It was kind of. I thought it was kind of Metal Gear Solid. When, yeah, yeah. yeah let, let me is. let me help it, it out for you. Da, da, da. But we're not metal gearing. We're 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 trying to like. I am it? back. Oh my god. Hi. You uh yeah. you missed the bit war. Yeah. What the f what? Yeah. Yeah. Things yeah. happened. Yeah. So we were. It, look. Ooh. Just calm. Look. Just calm down. I'm gonna. So we called off some of them. But Kurt, if you want. Oh, here we go again. Holy shit. Oh, uh, here we go god. again. That's another twenty five thousand. Mm. I think. It's yep. Really hard. Hard to find the. Uh... Probate, look, you need to, you can't show it all to I'm him on one stream. I'm slack right now. What the, what Bro, is probate, going on? Probate, you can't show, you can't show it we all to him on one stream. I don't want to rush you guys, but you if could. we could, if we could. Yeah, let's move it along. Pro it probate together, with over 85,000 bits. Christ on a cracker. By God, it's Probonaga with the bit bomb. Deadlift bit bomb, mamma mia. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Blackwing Hellkai, thank you too. And. Jack Jumbo, quick counter than that one because caused by bad bits. Probate. Oh, in one in before the well, plan falls apart due to one poorly timed nat one. Oh no, pro save us, Probunaga. We're waiting for that. Alrighty. Alright. Oh. So, as the dawn almost begins, the blue in the sky comes out. Uh, Audrey exits her tent. She's been sleeping with the other orcs. Um and she gives you her holy symbol. Grapples. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get it back to you as soon as we get back. Of course. You guys take out into the woods. As you guys are going through the woods, I want actually task you be an expert at this task. I want you to make a perception check with advantage. Yes? Task! Zito not back? Oh. He, he Zito was not back? He, he was back, but he may have gone to put his dish away or something. Rot row. Okay. Then I will say uh, Remy then. And Zenrio could make this check also. What is it? Which check? Perception. Uh, for, uh, you, Re for you, Remy, this is not with advantage because it is not distance sight. It is it's like. Auto? Audio? Or a it's it's audible? No, it's it's sight, but it's not distance based sight. So it's something that it. is like hidden and camouflage. So. Cool. 13. 10. You do not see anything, but Zenrio, you do notice some of the orcs are tying up what looks like rope to certain trees. I don't think those trees are going to try escaping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look what <laughs> he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> One of the orcs kind of laughs. The other orc who you, you held the hand of just kind of shuffles shyly away and goes back to what he's doing oh my gosh he's totally crushing on you i'm i'm right here i was pulled oh, away it was an important no worries call. no worries it was, it was, it was kind of an, it was kind of an important phone call sorry no worries um i was just wanting to check because they're there it appears from based on your knowledge and tasks as it's pointed out to you they are setting up some sort of trap um if you guys are pursued so you do have some coverage for escape okay uh, if things go horrendously badly um, well good so, as you guys begin to sift through the trees around Grandma, uh, Segu casts Pass Without a Trace on you guys, leaving the rest of the orcs behind in the depths of the woods. Uh, Gruel, Forky, Zenrio, Tass, Greckles, Remy, and Panic. You guys feel the effects. You almost feel as if you're blending into the surrounding nature itself. 
Uh, Greckles, you have a little bit of a PTSD flashback to the flower nipples at <laughs> one point. But you're brought out of it. You're like, right, they're gone. Uh, and as you guys Christ move forward, thinks. you hear the sound of steel axes on wood, the sounds of chatter and almost laughter, amongst other things, as you guys see this. Mamma mia. Speaking of flashbacks. Here we go again. <coughs> la la, viva la resistance. Okay. Hell of a... Uh... Task, right. as you look up, knowing your knowledge as a, as a ranged character, uh, you do see four guards currently doing a very, really impressive perimeter, uh perimeter check on the base of the, the wall. They all have appear to have bows as well, and are keeping an eye mostly on the uh, paladins. If you'd like, you can make a perception check to try and read whether their gaze is. Sure. 24. Nice. 24. Oh, good stuff. You notice that these two guards in particular all right. uh, appear to have their eyes on the clerics. That are over here. Okay, left, left is well, left these... is goose guarding. Yeah, and then these other two seem to be just not interested in anything for the most part. This guy's kind of like watching the trees as they fall down, but the moment the trees are felled, he kind of just walks around the wall. They're not fully paying All attention. All right. That's so can I can I relay this to them before? Yeah. All right. So I'll relate to the party that left side is eyeing the clerics, while the while right side is a little bit more idle side is a little bit more idle all right so mm -hmm. that's our that's our approach point then mm -hmm. so <clears throat> Great. as you guys look forward you see uh an absolute slew of tree stumps uh you see piles of trees currently being uh stacked up essentially uh, probably to be burned later mm -hmm. um you see a couple of paladins are just kind of like just talking they're not actually working um and a lot of the other ones are like taking work super seriously uh one of them in particular barking orders you can tell that's probably boris Mm -hmm. Um, and that one is, he's the one right here. Uh, you can tell he's kind of pointing, he goes, lift that one over there! And they're all kind of, like, going about their business as such. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, I would assume, just really, really quick, uh, while we were all buffing, that I would have Panic be invisible at this point. Okay. Panic, you are now invisible. Ooh. They cannot see you. Is Borky blue? Yep, blue. Blue. We painted you. I will. I will have Panic roll a performance check to apply your makeup. All right, get the roller. <laughs> yeah, literally. Performance. Come on, baby. Twenty-eight. 20. Yeah, you. Not only. Not only are you blue. Uh, using some of the Auroch horns on Gruul's throne, with the promise of getting him something better for the throne later. Um, specifically the helmet of the leader of whatever this thing is. Um, he man you managed to fasten, like, create in your off time, uh, a set of horns that, like, you can place on top of Borky's head, essentially, wow. like a disguise. Wow. It's, it's almost bizarre. Him and Gruul look very similar, except for the fact that Gruul has a lot more hair and a tail. Borky does look like a Tandaruk now. <clears throat> Thank so you, Panic. They will have to roll, they will have to roll above a 28 to tell. That's oh, oh, yes. That's, uh, that's mm. by the way, Borky. Well, before they had out this morning, Borky said, "Thank you very much, Panic. I couldn't have blew myself without your help." <laughs> I'm ju I am just yeah. referencing Arrested Development with that. I want You're you. That was great. That was great. No, no, no. Props You're welcome, to you. Borky. I'm glad I blew and you. And <laughs> oh. oh. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. All right. Wait. I want to get blue too. <laughs> no, you already had. You already had your fun with the carpet. Stop it. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're on. <laughs> all right how all right Twice you have the years. opportunity before you how do you wish to proceed uh um, did we have time to talk as we were approaching like as we were like to strategize now that we're close well you guys strategized last night so but what i mean is like are we able to t like talk to each other since we're right next to each other without them i will say for the sake of this yes this brush is thick and you also have passive out the trace on so i'm going to say no rolls are necessary they are not paying attention you guys okay. are well hidden well Just we for know the sake of brevity you guys are fine we know that okay. borky was going to do his thing first then you and i go in 
Because no, the real we, oh, no, we, we have to clarify that. No, no, we we have to be there before he does the distraction. Because when the distraction happens, we have to try to help get people out while also getting the f out ourselves. Mm. Then we need to come in from the right. I agree. Not the left, my, so. my suggestion would be because they're not paying attention. If we can be behind these uh, logs or to the side of them and look like we're working, then they'll just be like, "Oh, we didn't notice them around the corner." Okay. Because we can literally, uh, if I have my arrow tool. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. snap to center. Is that gonna do it? Like right about here, this area right here. Mm -hmm. We could probably get up the there without us seeing. Felled trees right now. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So there, are, there, there are. Oh, a... I thought I thought that was grass of some sort. Sorry, yeah. no, yeah. this looks like way too far. Yeah, that's uh, a pretty high stack of trees, so it would be above your guys' height as well. And yep. ev I would have also in preparation, I would have told everyone what that password was going to be. Yes, everybody knows yeah. what the password is. So. And I assume you'll be the one to say because clerics speak to clerics. Uh, unless panic gets to him first. Correct. Because, you know, it's not an aggressive action, so you'd stay yeah. invisible. Uh, but yeah, so this is where I'm thinking, uh, Grex, if you're mm -hmm. on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Un unless you want to go, unless you want to hit the broader side over here where there's going to be not these people to the left staring us down i agree my i i don't disagree the question is i want to make it look like we are somewhat visible like if That's we can fair. get there without us noticing then yeah. it doesn't look like we're hiding but it looks like they could have just easily not seen us is the thing we also need tools to make sure that we are working correct we well i can just not, i can just not be not all of them not all of them have tools so only a couple have a set of axes and the rest of them are just lifting at this point okay. so yeah yeah I'll, I'll act out what we're supposed to be doing when i actually get to that point um okay. also because we're standing right next to each other um i i think i have the whole voice thing down i could try it the uh, all right well let's let let's hear it let's hear your best paladin <clears throat> voice yeah <clears throat> uh uh a hark there, I am a paladin. Mm -hmm. did, that, did that sound like I was, did, I had to get rid of the accent and everything. Oh boy. Hold on, I can I can do it again, hold on. <clears throat> I, I'll, I'll try to do um, um, a high. Every Kenku has mimicry, correct? Not, Not every him. Kenku. No. Oh boy. The oh Alabastian Kenkus are all different. They don't have mm. the same abilities, yep. So, Remy has different abilities. Interesting, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So he's, he's gonna have to perform to fool them or deceive yes, them. Yes, I am Human. <laughs> Remy, I was half expecting you to go, One more score, Arthur! That's all we need! <laughs> one more score. Right. Well, Perhaps I'll... if I do less talking, it'll be, the, do less talking, it'll be better. If I do less talking, it'll be better. They know my voice. So. All right, and let me let me just get this out of the way. Okay. Who? What woman do you want to look like? You have a selection of your, you know, your history interacting with people. Who would you like to turn into? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna recommend not Solly or no, Helena. No, of course not. Of course yeah. not. Well, I was I was gonna say, I mean, I was gonna use Helen as a base, and then just like different nose, different eyes. Um, because those are the only two that we know of. Um, like clergy women, yeah. We have a couple. We also have a couple workers that we work with. I mean, I was just going to go with, I was just going to go with a generic human woman. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm basically cloaked, so I didn't think okay. it was that big of a big deal. Uh, I will say, for the sake of this, based off your memory, uh, you look a little bit like Alice. The okay. Oh, nice. Very yeah. unassuming, plain human girl who works yeah. for a short yeah. while. And literally, I mean, you're thinking about bland looking people. You and me are like, oh, right, her. Oh, you're oh, human, man. then. I just, I, 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 I completely forgot about her. Oh, man. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. All, right. All right. So you transform, and next to you, Remy, is a very normal looking human woman mm -hmm. wearing Audrey's clothes. <clears throat> Shall we? Uh, no time like the present. This right. helmet, by the way, this paladin armor, which Gruul has given to you, mm -hmm. um, covers your face entirely it's very oh, very well there's like cloth on the side too in some cases not all you see not all these helmets have this this appears to be like a choice thing but this this one does so yeah. and at least at least you get to stormtrooper your way without having to take your helmet off too it's true all right uh, i guess i guess i guess we'll head up should, to all right so first. both of you roll a stealth check with advantage or not sorry with advantage plus 10 because of the password of the trees 
Oh, sweet. Yeah. So that's a 25. 25? That's a... 13. Eight. Yeah. That one doesn't notice you. Wow, that one doesn't notice you. That's a natural one. Boris is too busy barking orders as you guys approach in whatever way you would like. You said straight across. Straight uh, across, the... yeah. Because then All it looks right. like we're still doing stuff not out of sight. Also, we won't bring attention to where our party members are. All right. right behind you, bam. Okay. You guys actually, to you, help. You, you should actually probably take the lead because I'm supposed to be your bitch. Well, but I should be next to you observing what you do. Just fold it. Yeah. He's going to fold his arms. He's going to stare at you. And uh, it's going to it's gonna mess with him to do it, but he's going to kind of glare at you to do your job. And then Greckles will, will give occasional shudders, not say anything, and just shuffle along doing work question mark okay uh roll a deception check greckles with advantage well, bam that Six. is a 16. Okay. uh as you kind of do this remy and just kind of like tell her you know tell greckles to do a bunch of stuff one of the paladins the the blue one kind of leans over and he goes hey mm. send yours mm -hmm. over there he points to the other clerics who are on the other side uh, I guess he's, is he motioning for Greckles to go over there? This is talking to you. Oh, what did he say again? He said, tell her to go over there with the other ones. Uh, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab Greckles by the, uh, the shoulder. I'm going to yank him up and kind of just direct him in that general vicinity. You're going to give an authoritative point. Yep. Greckles will, will shrink down, um, perform the, 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 the gesture, the hand gesture. Um, and just may just 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 uh, make his way over. Uh, I keep wanting to say cowardly, just just cowardly. Okay, just very quietly, you you kind of tiptoe uh, over. Meekly, as you're meekly, yeah. There meekly, you thank you. I'm so, meekly, there you so go. tired. <laughs> as you're as you're moving over, uh, the the same paladin goes, "Get a move on!" Kind of shouting at you a little bit. Um, and the, the paladin looks back to you, Remy just kind of shakes his head and rolls his eyes and starts like shoving some logs <laughs> up onto the pile. Remy will do the same kind of head shake, glare at Greckles again, and then return to doing pretty much nothing. This other paladin, which seems to be kind of like keeping guard uh, with the clerics, there are four clerics there. One of them looks sick. Roll a medicine check. For me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's bad. That's a nine. Nine, okay. Yeah, she's got like little spots on her face and she's kind of like <coughs> Ooh, ooh. The other measles. the other the other clerics are kind of tending to her and like all three of them are just like, "Oh, how did it get so bad?" So uh, are the are the, are the, well, hang on time out cuz there are things to be done. Um are the clerics doing any other kind of work or are they just kind of huddled around her or They're kind of huddling around like handing her water and like kind of checking on her. Roll an insight check on the the two clerics on either side. God damn. Yeah, they're just, they seem to be tending on them. Uh, the one paladin who's kind of keeping guard kind of gives you an idle glance and then just looks back for it. He's kind of chewing on an apple and just kind um, of like leaning up on a stump. In, in, a, in a very sort of meekish voice, Grekel says, Sisters, may, Solar, may Solaris's grace pave the way. Uh, there's kind of this this hush over them. Uh, you notice one of them is, kind of pulls her hand into her robe and slightly reveals Liza's mask. Oh! Oh! Which one? Which one? Oh! Oh! Which color? Uh, which one has it? I think it's the blue one. It is, yep. Yeah. This one right next to you. Ah! Like a kid who snuck, like a kid who snuck their guinea pig to school. She what? like pulls back her robe and shows you and then what about what about the other three they all kind of look at you and go back to it at this point you realize they're all acting the one girl's not sick and the other two are just pretending to take care of her so all point. four of them are in on this you get that sense there's four of them all right i'll i'll just do my best to tend to her with with the 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 quote sick one as best mm -hmm. i can you, you give her some water, she drinks it, and she's like, oh, I feel so feverish. And they're like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. And the paladin eating the apple just doesn't care. He's just like, yeah, I don't have to work. Great. Uh, don't, Randy. Don't, don't worry, yeah. sisters. Solaris will, will... You know, never mind, sorry. 
No, it's okay. Pick up. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Remy, at this point, Boros is like, "Hey, you." Remy will look over. Fell that one. He points to like another little sapling, and he kind of chucks you the axe. Uh, Remy will grab it and do as he says. Okay, because you're alerted, no, no save necessary. You kind of cool. grab it. And he points over to a tree. You begin to hack. whips that thing at your forehead. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> to be fair, Remy's good at catching stuff, so we're good. He's not. He hasn't. When is he going to catch a break? I maybe right now, where I just sit over here and shut my mouth for once. <laughs> uh, as you go over and you begin to fell the tree, Boros kind of leans up and he pulls out like a smoking pipe, and he kind of mm -hmm. fills the smoking pipe and he goes. <sighs> so what are you thinking so far? Is he talking to me? Yeah, he's talking to you. Uh, Remy just kind of shrugs and hits it a couple more times. I miss the warm temples back home. You have to admit, though, the loot's pretty good here. <laughs> keep chopping. Oh. It's a shame we can't keep most of it. You'll probably see it again in Periton. Mm. And then one of the Apollonians goes, Do you see that handkerchief that Aftar has? The other one looks back and goes, Yeah, he won't let us anywhere near that thing. And he probably thinks we're going to fool around with it or something. <laughs> he kind of smokes the pipe a little bit more. Right, but you keep felling the tree. It seems at that point they're just kind of talking about stuff that you just don't understand. Yep. Nothing he's, really. he's literally going over the data bank of like, All right, what was that sound that Doros made to give any kind of confirmation? <laughs> Uh, yeah, the he, that's all he's doing is do. He's pulling a Doros. <laughs> right. Yeah, you 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 blankly nod and give thumbs ups and just kind of. Mm. And then occasionally you sweat for no reason. You're not sure why. Um, the armor, by the way, is actually really comfortable. Ooh. It's very well made, despite being salvage and also not really your size. It does fit quite well. Uh, at this point. What is the next part of your plan? Uh, now we need the distraction part of it. I thought panic was before distraction. No, panic is going to react to how they react uh, because right, right. distraction will get their attention and then either the clerics will be able to follow Greckles to panic yep. or panic will have to get to them. I, I also I also can smoke bomb our way out if need be. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's uh, actually really, advan really, it's really advantageous that he's with the clerics, but so the plan is after you make the distraction, that's when we move with panic. Okay, uh, board. Uh, that's when I try to get the hell away. I, I actually might have something on that then. Go uh, ahead. You can Monty. talk behind us. Mm -hmm. uh, oh no, Monty, is there an animal? A small, Wait. tiny animal nearby. Any animal? Any animal. Uh, one that roll... won't be one that won't be inconspicuous if it goes to another. Tree. All right, roll roll a roll a survival check to find an animal. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, flying squirrel. Flying squirrel bombers. That one. Oh, you find a snail. Damn it. All right, well, <laughs> all right, there goes my idea. At least get the net one out here. Uh, you could roll a perception check, though, to see if anybody, now that we've been here for a minute. Yeah, you can roll another perception check to see where eyes are at this point. Uh, 17. Wow. Oof. There we go. All righty. Um, now, before Borky, Borky got the scroll. Hold, hold on, Kurt. Oh, hold oh, on. Oh, I was He's, do he's rolling a perception check. Uh, as you kind of scan and see, all the paladins at this point, uh, these groups of two appear to be talking with each other. Um, they, These clerics... This, blah, 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 blah. Uh, these mm. two, as partners, don't seem to dislike each other. The clerics seem very happy with their paladins. They're kind of smiling and laughing with them, too. Okay. Um, the other paladins appear to be kind of watching Boros. Boros is telling like this story about how he swears he saw a mermaid, but it was like big, fat, and gray, and he was really uncertain if it was actually a mermaid or not, or some other like new creature he's never heard of. Um, so all these paladins appear to be having their gaze heading a bit towards this tree line. Uh, these two are still watching the clerics here, and this one seems to like kind of like he's he's not wielding his weapon anymore. This one in the farther corner, he's kind of like leaning over and watching them. At so all eyes are focused on the right side at this point. For the most part, besides those two archers on the wall. And even that 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 guard right next to him is not paying attention. He's eating an apple, he's sitting on a stump, and he's just kind of listening to the story too, and just kind of <laughs> like laughing every once in a while. Okay. Uh, is there any way I can like gather Borky or Gruel's attention? Yeah, you can easily do that. 
I just like wave. I wave at them. I point to the. T I point to the. I pretty much like point to the guards. Point eyes and then point in the direction where they're looking. Okay. Gul kind of turns to you, and he pulls out something interesting. He pulls out a war horn. He just kind of holds it Whoa. in his hand. Ooh. It is made out of a curved Arak horn, which is huge. Hmm. Um, and it's like, you actually roll. No, actually, you wouldn't. You saw one of these. Wait, hold on. You all saw that. When you guys were in the Fields of the Dead during the Hellmouth War, did you guys all see the illusions? I can't remember. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we all saw yeah. them. Okay. It looks like a Hellmouth. Oh. Nice. Mm -hmm. And he kind of turns to you and he nods. Mm -hmm. Uh. By the way, uh, is it okay if I do my thing now? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're yeah. good. It's all yeah, buddy. Your, this is your cue. Alrighty. Yeah, this is your cue. Alrighty. Uh, now the the, the way the the spider wa the spider climbing works is I can just re look at it and I can just walk up the well the the essentially the <laughs> tree. You can great kazoo it. You can basically yeah. Spider Man it. You right. Spider Man it, yeah. Right, Spider Man and Borky just goes, all right, here we go. And he nods to uh, Zenrio. And I guess Zenrio's holding a torch? I'm hoping. Or at least uh, Borky's going to have a torch in his hand and a sword. Zenrio, oh. Zenrio. Zenrio has his abilities if he wants to utilize them. Mm hmm. He can mm -hmm. assist if he feels the need to. Borky just nods at Gruel looking down. Just like, hit it. Gruel looks at you. He's waiting for you to go. He's 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 holding his action. Oh, I thought I was gonna the horn was gonna go, then I go up. No, it's you. No, it's on you, man. Borky, the, horn is, the horn is for something else. Borky yep. climb walks up to the top of the tree. Yeah, sideways you just walk up it like that, you know, like uh, Wallace and Grummet with the pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Borky. <laughs> Borky yeah. has moment, let's go. Borky essentially is holding out Ron Fault in his right hand. And from the top of his lungs. I have returned! Alright, you watch as all the eyes now, every single one that was looking towards anything else is now looking up that tree. Nash has seen fit to give me a brief moment to descend upon where I come from! He gives me a new blade and a moment to speak to all of you. You have fallen away from the true path. I am Orvar, the acolyte of Nash. And you will all burn and not your fire. But what's that? I got it. They're going to react to you now. If they have life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have line of sight on you now. Uh, and... I gotta see what the distance is here. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, you are within distance. So immediately, the moment this happens, they see you on the top of the tree. All of the guards on the top of the tree, immediately, this one guy actually is gonna miss his chance because he was oogling at the, the clerics, but these other three ones, this guy should still hit you if I measure it out. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Oh, by one. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's actually, it's, the range 120, right? 120. It's, oh, what's uh, oh, oh, never mind. Yeah. Wow. But the guy at the end actually is in range. So the first one's gonna take a, like a shot at you. That is 100% gonna miss. That's a two. Uh, that's a three. That's even worse. That's a what the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? No, keep using them. No, yeah, no. No, 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 no. That's good. Don't stop. Don't stop. I'm that's sorry, true. did you did you miss the part where Orvar's back? You don't shoot Orvar. <laughs> <laughs> I remember him from the one-off. I I just rolled in sequence a two, a three, and a natural one. Wow. Ooh, can I, can I have a flavor for that natural one? Can I get a refund diehard dice? Uh, <laughs> wow, okay. Ganesh uh, protects. I will roll severity for the natural one. Protect. This is where you can roll your 20. But most of all. Okay. <laughs> Did he roll a 20? No. Um, it's not super severe, but I just it's gonna be great. So, what happens is Borky starts his spiel, and you see Remy as Boris turns and goes, fire! And uh 
all three rangers not really paying attention are just like whoa immediately pull their bows shoot shots and they just like they just disappear in the brush task because you're standing there you hear a twing as a as an arrow lands next to you which you can take if you want yes I will um like that. thank you <laughs> the third arrow hits the tree what you realize now task as you're going to grab that arrow is it was actually tipped with fire borky your tree begins to catch fire yes Nash will burn all that is not worthy of its gaze! <laughs> Nash protects me! Your sun god cannot be seen in the shadow of Nash! Roll a intimidation oh, check for me. Ooh, I love it. Mm. He's going hog wild. With, uh, with advantage, too. Here we go. Mm. Come on, baby. Advantage. Mm. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. 15. That's not bad. Man, not bad as you as you stand here, Ron Falk goes, I am using my ability. You watch as the winds rush up and the flames just spin and spiral oh, around shit. you. Nice. Borky yeah. starts moving his hand in a wow. circle like he's actually summoning it. All right. Didn't Panic, you what are you doing? That. You see absolute pandemonium now. Some of the paladins look scared. Uh, a few of them, other ones are now drawing out javelins and swords now. Yes! Uh, let's see. Fuck. Uh, I don't know if a whisper can carry from there. Uh, all right. I'm going to. Can you move and whisper? Uh, You're invisible, bro. You're fine. I know. And it's not a hostile action to whisper. Indivisible. Right? All right. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna walk here, and I'm going to hold my action. Okay. Uh, I will say at this point, we will roll initiative. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, Got damn it. Here we go, lads. <laughs> well, watch me get nat natural 20 in my, so, uh, my held action be worthless. Four to six, I'll take the six. 23. There you go, dude. Hey, oh, 13. Very nice, very nice, very nice. All right. 11. Woo. Uh, I think I, do I, do, what's your dex there, Remy? Uh, my dex is going to be not higher than yours. Okay. All right, so we have, wow, this is, okay, let's see. Yeah, you can see the modifier number right next to the initiative. Oh, Correct. sorry, I'm a derp. We have, oh, we have Greckles. Oh, I forgot about my Bardic Inspiration. Those get refunded. Yeah, you got those Yeah, back. we, we, it's a new day, guys. You get all, get everything. Oh, you get back. all your tricks back. I know, I just forgot to bump it back up. The poor Zenrio on the bottom of the list again. All right. Oh, sorry, for, buddy. Rolling for Gruul. We love you. Jesus Christ, Gruul. All right. Uh, Really well. He almost beat you, Panic. Jeez. And then, let's say for this, the Paladins. Okay, not actually, not terrible. Plus, oh, sorry, I have so many, there's gonna be papers all over the place again. Okay, plus, so that's gonna put them, oh, that puts that, Puts them right with you guys. Uh, what is your uh, uh, dexterity modifier, Remy? One. A. Okay. So they're gonna run. Okay. All right. Panic! You are up. As this tree is now catching fire, and as you look, you're like, "Oh, that's real fire." Um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> at how Borky managed that somehow. This is real fire. <laughs> this is real fire. Yeah. Hi, I'm Borky the Orc, and I want to tell you about real fire. We use real fire for <laughs> all <laughs> I'm Borky with work. Real Fire Incorporated. <laughs> you ever feel like Come people are just faking? Nah, look at these CDs. Sheer fire on them. And Borky just crushes them. Ganesh uses 100% organic fire. <laughs> Right from hell itself. <laughs> All right, Panic is going to uh, crawl over to this this stump. I'm going to whisper okay. to Greckles, get them out of here now. Can and... I respond to that? As a free action, I'll say yes, you can. Uh, they they need they need to be distract all distracted first. I got four girls here. They are all looking. It's only the clerics that are looking at you as you're whispering at nothing right now. Okay, well, I mean, I didn't know what the, the, the pink, oh, the pink paladin was doing. The They're pink paladin doing. is looking for it at the moment. He's just like, oh, geez. Like, he's actually going back and he's grabbing Listen, what looks like bro, a hand. Bro, you at. are sneak 75 right now. He, like, has no perception on you. 
All right, I, I would just I'd just be worried about the two wall guards also noticing us as four, four five people make an escape. The guy who failed got the natural one is currently like you see him duck down going, "Oh shit, he dropped his bow." Uh, <laughs> the other guy is currently reaching back and knocking another arrow and he's like lighting it on a piece of flint it looks like at his they, side. They, he's kind of like they kind are of re dimension door one of them out. It'll save me pre save me time. Uh, I want to say something, but I can't. Fuck. If, yeah, you're not there. No. If I do that, you guys lose me too. Fine, fine, fine. We got it. We got it. We got it. Just get them moving. I can cover you. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, and I'm going to I'm going to hold my action. Okay. What is the held action going to be? My held action is if these archers start aiming at the clerics. What are you going to do when they aim? I'm going to cast darkness. Oh, okay. nice. Imprisoning me. Oh, that I see. That ends your team. Uh, your turn. Uh, it is. Now your team's Gruul's turn is over. It's now the enemies. Yeah, it's now the enemies. Uh, it is now Gruel's turn. Uh, oh, Gruel. Uh, kind of. Actually, he's gonna run over Zenryo. He's gonna grab you. Oh. And he's gonna. Pull, he's gonna pull you away from the fire. Because it was about to hit you. Where are we going? Fire! Oh, fire hot! Uh, Fire hurt fits. <laughs> yeah, you're like, ooh, pretty, and then it burns. You're like, ah. Oh, fire hot. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, that will end Gruel's turn. That will be his action. Just to, just basically, he's preventing you from being damaged. I just that. imagine he just picked him up with one hand and just placed him in the exact same pose for you know, away. You know, Undertale, that one part where where Papyrus picks up or not Papyrus, uh, Undyne picked up your character and put it yeah. put them down during the date. Yeah. That's what that's what he did with Zenrio. He just grabbed Zenrio by the <laughs> ah, hand, lifted him excellent. up, and put him down. Mm -hmm. Also yeah. efficient Alrighty. storyline too. Task, it is now your turn. You are now watching as the things are unfolding. The fire is growing hotter. Uh, I want these boys to still be able to not have to worry about them right now. So I just did the math. I have enough reach to hit them. Okay. I'm going to cast uh, rain, uh, Hailing Thorn. Okay. All right. Well, I have to at least hit someone first. Unless I have to... Actually, no. I have to just hit here, and then it's a 10-foot radius. Yeah, so you okay. can hit that spot. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. a you're like, don't roll yep. a one. Yeah, you all I have, have to do is. Hmm? You do have to pick who you want to hit, though. Uh, the the point is that the area of effect hits both of them. But don't you have to hit someone with that shot for it to work? He's saying he's going to aim at the ground and then ten feet off of that spot in the ground. Okay. Where, okay. Yeah. 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 It's I, easier I'm to not, hit the ground. I'm not hitting to. I'm not procking to hit them. I'm procking to get an area of effect. Hit the wall. Okay. I will yeah. say the AC for this. It is going un to be ten because it's the wall. Yeah, that's okay, that's fair. And and that's unless fair. unless if you do not want me to do this, I can actually hit the guy who nat one and then proc it. You can if you want. That's up to you. Okay, I might do that on my second attack. Okay. All right. So first attack is the wall. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Ooh. Come on, baby. Wow. Oh, Eleven. Yeah! <laughs> that's so cool. Woo! Mm. Woo! So, so the wall takes six damage. All right, a piece of stone falls. <laughs> no! Tragically. Which is amazing because it's like, hey, that stone fell. And then what's going on? Ah! <laughs> uh, you hit it, the stone kind of, just piece of stones fall down. Uh, and then the spell procs. So they have to make a dexterity saving throw, correct? Let me roll that for you. Hail of Thorns, make a dexterity. Okay, saving sunrise throw. dice. That's a natural 20 for this guy. Oh, piss. Unfortunately, as you call down the hail of arrows, let's see what he has on him. Equipment. Well, they take half damage if if they succeed. Shit, where are these guys? I should be more prepared for this, but there's a lot that happened. Uh, all right. Uh, no, he doesn't. All right, uh, he does like shield himself as the arrows come down. I'd want to see if he had a shield. Um, the other guy, let's roll his deck save. Fumbles for that. Ooh, that's two. <laughs> yeah! He's not doing great. He's, He's not, not earning that paycheck. Uh, as you bring it down, he leans over, and you just see all the arrows go into his back. Oh. And he's like, ah! All right, so that's four points of damage. And then when he gets back up again... It's paper. <laughs> when he gets back up again, that's a 14 to hit. Uh, that unfortunately does not. 
Oh. As you go to fire, you hit a tree branch in the tree, and you're just like, shit! But you're able to grab the arrow if you want to. Yeah. All right, so that's my turn. All right. Unless I could use a move action to try and hide in this tree. You've got. Two uh, attacks, you're pretty. Though. You're pretty covered. Any. Yeah. You're, that was my. Both attacks. That was. Oh, right, right, right. Hill yeah, thorns. Yeah. All right. Where did my turn order go? All oh, right, it's on different page. Uh, all right. Greckles, it is now your turn. Um. Greckles will grab. Let's see here. Um, two hands. Uh, the uh, blue and yellow. Grab hands. Okay. Okay. Sis sisters, grab hands. Like one of them to, to get to, to get all of them holding hands together. The yellow one turns. He goes. You can drop the voice, dude. Panic and visibly <laughs> shaking his head <laughs> no, behind he Greckles. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! I've got mimicry. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> She's still giving you this look, like. All right. All right, fine, ladies. Let's move it. Uh, with your movement, <laughs> if, if you're. <laughs> fine, let's go. That was such a great line. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Just lights uh... a match off of its stubble. Takes a big drink. Right, uh, get them to get the, the party, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Greckle just pulled out a Glock for no reason. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't have to use my AK today. Guess it was a good day. <laughs> uh, Let's go. Okay, so okay. With care, with taking people by the hand for this, I'm gonna roll out. You can only use half your movement. So if you're taking people that by the hand to move them on your turn, mm -hmm. you you have to go with half your movement. Can, but luckily can, you're a rogue, so you can, can dash and use your bonus action to dash. Too. Oh, I was uh, yeah, I was about to say I was gonna bonus action dash. Um, can I actually ready a spell if any of if if uh I can tell if any of the other uh, clerics or paladins are getting hot on us and drop obscuring mist? I don't, I don't know if I could do that as a as a held action. Yes, you can. I will let you. Okay. Uh, well, actually, no, you can't because you're taking your action. Uh, you have to use your whole entire turn, I think, to hold an action. Well, you, if he's, uh, movement is separate from casting, I believe. So would he be able to move and then uh, ready the the casting? Yes, I will let okay. that happen. Okay. okay. I mean, if you know, I, I'm not I'll be trying. generous at this point. Why not? Sure. All right. Thank you. Well, uh, <laughs> thank you, Monty. Half, half speed's forty feet, so we're gonna be just to the tree line. Okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, this pallet then is going to check and see if he hears you. Do the other? Oh, I can only take the two with me on my turn. Two. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Only got two hands. Yeah, but panic's right there. So. Plus three. That's a thirteen. I want you to roll a stealth check for me with disadvantage because you have two other people there and they are not quiet. Oh, God, come on. Oh, stealth so hard, come please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, that's, that's not bad. Ten. That's, that's not ten. bad. And he got a thirteen. Yeah. He kind of goes, hey, and he kind of turns. Uh, let's see if his buddies hear him. They do not, but he oh. notices and immediately grabs to his sword. Uh, that ends your turn. Whoa, 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 whoa. I had the held action. He had the held action, action for him. I was gonna use that action. Um, all right, so, give me a second here. I need that to was a good, hey, that was a good call, Grex. Whoa. So, so, Grex's whispers underneath his breast. And, uh, let's see here, where do I want to drop this? Cause I want it. Let's see. Whoa! Nope! 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wrong tool. Let's see. Twenty. Get the. A quick question. Oh, how long does Pass Without a Trace last for? A while. I think it lasts up to an hour. Oh. Okay. I was about to say, would I still have disadvantage if I had Pass Without? Oh no, it's because I have the tree line. Shuga's gone though. That's the thing. Yeah. Once you guys left the tree oh. line, Shuga's effect is gone. Cause she, oh, the moment okay. you're like, you guys are starting, she's like, I'm, I'm going home. Okay. Um, Moni, Moni, can you, can you help? Can you draw the box for me? Yeah. Can you do it on okay. the other side for me? Other way? Opposite way? I'm going. Okay. Up. Boom. Okay. Boom. All right. Good placement, because they would have gotten completely lost yep. if it hadn't been for that. That you was guys, point. That was uh, really Remy, well done. as you're standing there watching them like shooting arrows, a yeah. huge thing is. How tall is the mist, by the way? Uh, let me click the spell. Okay. Let's see here. Forever. It just <laughs> says 20 foot radius. Oh, it's a sphere. So it's 20 feet tall too, as yeah. well. All right. Uh, that actually goes above the wall, so now these two archers can't see anything except Ooh, for the huh. guys over nice. here. Two clerics right there, and you running. Good old so. Muton no Jutsu. Oh, They're man, gonna with, that, with that fucking like confuse the other guy like his friend shot him. Oh, oh my back! Uh, that will end your turn. Remy, it is now your turn. Uh, Boros is barking orders. Okay. Uh, and he says, "Block 
the base of that tree! And he kind of points and jazz fingers as you watch a few of the paladins now drawing swords. Uh, to the base of which tree? The one Borky's on. Uh, got it. So he's saying go after it? Yeah, he's like, get to the base of it so he can't run. All Borky's right. He's vamping like a motherfucker, by the way. Uh, Rem Remy is going to use the uh, dash action, but that'll take him off the map. But he's going to go all the way towards Borky and then past him behind this tree. Okay, roll a stealth check because you're trying, you're not doing exactly what he wants, but you are going into an area where you can stealth. You do not get Shuga's bonus for this because you are in combat now. God. 14. Okay. Ooh, that's a 10. He does not see you. Oh, God bless. You disappear into the brush. And that takes your action. You have a bonus action. Uh, correct. Um, I don't think I can use it right. I'm going to save it, so that'll be turn. Okay. All right, um, so I'm not. Uh, am I off the map? Should I, or am I? We'll just Dash say you're is... there for now. Okay, we'll just cool. Say you're there for now. Uh, it is now the paladins' turns. So immediately, these two on the wall. This guy's having a bad day. Uh, hail of thorns. Uh, okay, nothing else changes. Okay. Uh, he's gonna yeah, stand up and he's gonna roll again. He's gonna aim for you, Greckles, as you're running with two. Uh, actually, no, he doesn't know that. I have to see if he can tell what you are. He's gonna roll an investigation check. I want you to roll a deception for me. Oh. Don't get... worry about it. Don't about... fucking worry about oh, it. Okay. I was about to say, because I, I, am sp I, I do have my spell up, I wasn't sure if that'd give me advantage or not. Yeah, if you don't worry about it, he rolled. This guy sucks. Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, one. Fumbles. That's good, because I rolled a five. Yeah, he got, like, three, so... Nice. It's not, he's not smart, he's just a mercenary. Uh, the other guy, though, is gonna look as well. Uh, a little bit better. Uh, roll another deception check. As, do I get any advantage for having this guy self Yeah, I will, I will give you advantage for this. Okay, deception. That is a 19. Okay. Oof. He, uh, he does notice the clerics running, and he is going to point a finger, and he's going to yell, The clerics are running! Would that proc my if, would that proc my action? If you would like it to, yes. Okay. Uh, it's going to reveal you, though. I don't know if you want to do that. Yeah, you are going to be visible. But he is behind the... the yeah, That's he's, true. He's, he's behind the tree trunk. Yeah, who who was it that was screaming and and trying to take pop shots? The uh... this guy here. Yeah. All right. The other, guy, if, if... the other guy sucks and is getting fired. Probably. I'm yep. just I'm just gonna hit as much I'm just gonna hit as much people as I can with this. I mean, fumbles okay. over there. Fumbles yeah, over there. Do can't it. do shit. Well, if one of those gonna... clerics can get away, you've got the other one. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh... Oh, man, hang on. I'm sorry, give me one second. No, you're good. Okay. Who's up next, by the way? Uh, after after uh, the Paladins, it will be Borky, but the Paladins still have not all gone yet. So. All right, seeing, all right, seeing as Fumbles keeps fucking up up there, I'm only dealing with one art. Panic is going to shoot his uh, fist out uh, forward towards the big group of clerics and Paladins. He's just going to say... Into Merrick. And I'm going to cast Darkness right here. Right there? It was, how big placement. is it? 15 feet. 15 oh, feet. Oh, hell yeah. Could you grab the measuring stick for me? Yep, hang on. I'm just gonna... Okay. There we go. Can you go down as well? Perfect. And then across to the... Perfect. Boom. Darkness drifts over top. You hear one very sharp, shrill scream, and you hear some shouts and yelling, and everybody else around at this point turns and now sees the giant ass fog cloud <laughs> and this giant void of darkness. To be fair, Panic, they can't see you now because you're covered on both sides by these effects. <laughs> That's Unfortunately the plan. Unfortunately for yeah. you, Panic, you forget what type of clerics these are. Yep. It'll... It'll stop them. It'll, it'll get them to focus on something else. I'm going to... They are going to... The Cleric in the Darkness is going to channel Divinity to get rid of it. Oh, that's a reaction? No, it's their turn. You use, It's you their use... turn right after I'm you. I'm not done. Yeah. Oh. No. It's... You have a held action. It's their turn. Oh, so you'll right. Have to do Never one mind. Held action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. You used the held action, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like... 
Oh, yeah. Mind. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. So on their same turn, the uh, the clerics are going to. I'm just gonna double check this to see this. I did. I did burn a channel divinity though. You did, yeah. Uh, second level. Magical darkness within 30 feet of you is dispelled. Uh, additionally, each hostile creature within 30 feet of you. You are outside that range. You're good. Uh, Woo! Thank you, bro. All right. Uh, you see as light from the sky pours in, searing out this light. Uh, the cleric was absolutely petrified. You seem to really scare her. Uh, the paladin kind of turns and goes, let's go, let's go. And uh, he's going to move. So they're going to start hucking javelins at you. Actually, that's difficult terrain. You're going to have to go over there. Whoop. In fact, all of them are going to move into a more advantageous position. Also, I didn't hear that guy yell on the wall either. Oh, the guy yelling about the clerics? Yeah, yeah they're really focused because Borky's out shouting them. They're oh, rolling with disadvantage on the perception <laughs> checks because yeah, Borky's just screaming. But, Borky, you are now target number one for everybody oh, here. Okay. So, I should have gone into a rage. You are not raging, too. I should have gone into a rage. Maybe, maybe. You, could, you couldn't have really. I wouldn't have let you act if you were in a rage, so don't okay. feel bad. Angry All right. acting. It's fine. Let me get their bones. Method here. acting. I am very yeah, it's called method, method acting. acting. So, method yeah. acting. so is our, our goal here is to escape, or is it's our to goal get out. Yes. We have to go. Yeah, now yeah. you need to go. All right. You gotta get the uh, girls out of here, though. Sorry, I'm just trying to find information here. Man, we, we, we gave you guys as much of a fucking, like, leap. Oh, yeah, that, 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 that went about as well. Oh, that went they, about as well. They don't have javelins. They have long bows, actually. Oh. Oh. No. That's not all right. better. Not great. Uh, all right. So the one closest to the ground here is going to aim towards you, Borky. That is going to be a 17 to hit. Yes, it does. My armor class is very low now. That is five points of piercing damage. All righty. Ooh. The blue paladin also shoots out a bow. Ooh, that's probably not, that's a 16 to hit. Yep. Okay. Oh. oh god, that is going to be 12 points of piercing damage. Max damage on that one. Yeah, I'll say. Uh, these two here are going to fire as well. Which oh, two? Oh god, that's gonna be uh, the, the, the yellow and the orange cleric who are kind of posted behind the, the wood pile. Uh, the first one's going to be a 23, which obviously hits. Uh, that's going to be six points of piercing damage. The one behind him is going to fire as well. That is not going to hit. You that said that six, so six, six points of piercing damage? The previous one was six points of piercing damage. Uh, this guy misses. This guy is going to aim for you as well. That's also a miss. That's the exact same roll. Uh, this cleric here is going to... I think she can reach you with anything. Yeah, she can't. She's just going to go behind a stump, I think, at this point. She's going to hide behind a stump. <laughs> uh, then the two gentlemen on the walls are going to aim for you as well. Let me grab their stats. Super fast. Okay. That's a natural one. <laughs> oh. Woo! Good yeah, mercs. Good mercs. These mercenaries suck. They yeah, are well, not worth their penny. Is he, he, was was he shooting at me, uh, Borky, as well? Yeah. Uh, he completely misses and almost, he actually scrapes the, the armor of one of the paladins, and the paladin like snarls and turns and looks at him oh. like, really angrily. The other guy is going to... Oh, that's definitely gonna hit. That's going to be plus... Oof, that's a 21. So, you're gonna take uh, seven points of piercing damage and two points of fire damage as a fire arrow hits you right in the chest and things are getting spicy up there. Oh shoot! I, I was I was calculating and I don't. Frick! Where was my health at? Oh no! I just I I just lost my place for my health tracking. It was what, it, what, it was it was five then twelve and then whatever this damage was. So seventeen plus what she just. Let me, let me let me let me just start over. I'm sorry. I have to start over again. I completely lost my place. Sorry. I thought twelve. Just do twelve first. So. Five, 55. What's next after that? I don't know. I... It went, Kurt, Kurt, it went 5, 12, and then whatever she just said. Okay, no, there was another 6 in there. So yeah, 7 the six plus was... 2. There you go. 
nine. So, so an so additional nine. nine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're good. All right. Okay. Sweet. Okay. That ends their turn. It is now Borky's turn. And after that hey. is Enrio. Alrighty. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Oh, wait, the guy who's in the fog. Hold on. He's not done yet. <laughs> oh, this God! I'm yeah. surrounded by so much yeah. fog. Also, hey, Monty, uh, the, the, the clerics that are on our side, do they move on the enemy's turn? They don't. They need help. Got it. They can see me now, though, right? Uh, Well, this guy walks out the bottom, and he's like, huh? Ah! He turns, and he now sees a demon next to him. Some kind of <laughs> devil, some kind of devil but a man. I'm back, baby. He immediately charges you. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, so, unfortunately, though, he was taking his bow out, so he's going to use his bow as a stick to hit you. <laughs> nice. Oh. Uh, that's it. Wow. He rolled a 19. Uh, so that's going to definitely hit. Smacks you in the head with a bow. No. <laughs> Bad demon. Uh, you take six points of bludgeoning damage as he takes his bow and just like a, like a bat just whacks you up the side of the head with it. Ow, hellish uh, rebuke. Okay. <laughs> How casual. <laughs> <laughs> hellish rebuke. Does it come up invisible for you? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah it's coming yeah, up invisible for me too. Up. Hang on. Did it again. Just like what panic. Are no. Hold on. What are the more fucking pity? Oh, uh, really? Rocket. What's what's the save on that? And then we can just roll damage normally. Save is. Dexterity. Oh, that's cocks. That is a ten, so he nope. fails. <laughs> <laughs> Go, my dice. Three. Three. Hey. Hey. He takes three points of fire damage. You kind of like stare at him, and like your eyes kind of gleam, and you watch as his ear just catches fire, just like poof. Ah! And he just kind of like pats it out and starts punching himself in the side of the head. Yeah, take that. <laughs> <laughs> now, Borky, it is your turn. The, the yes. tree around you is currently on fire. It appears your distraction has worked, though. That is that is good. Uh, Borky will just uh, uh, as an act, just uh, just take Ron Fault. I'm guessing a bunch of arrows are in his chest, essentially, right? Yeah, you're full of arrows. You're like a pincushion right now. Okay, so Borky's got he's gonna do one flavor thing and get off this tree real fast. Okay. Your Spider attacks are can... nothing to the Chosen of Nash! And Borky takes Ronfalt and actually just slices the arrows, breaks the arrows off with the blade. And Borky... And you make a constitution saving throw. Actually, no, make a medicine check for me for that. <laughs> okay. You, get, you try to gauge the best way to swing a sword at yourself and, like, chop them off. You end up taking a bit more damage from that. As possible. Uh, you're going to take an additional five points of damage. Damn. From doing that, uh, you do have an advantage on your intimidation check if you would like to. Absolutely. And I'll take that nat twenty, baby. Natural twenty. Ooh. The paladins who are like knocking their bows actually stagger back, and the the mercenaries are like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and then. As the, and then Borky pretty much does the Okada pose. He puts his arms out to the side with Ronfalt in the right hand and walks backwards and then walks down the tree through the fire as fast okay. as he can. <laughs> I, need, I need a constitution saving throw to resist the effects of the flames. Come on, baby. They are encouraging on you. 13. Okay. Not bad. This will be halved. Uh, one point of fire damage. Nice. Oh! You know, Mighty. Yeah. Borky's ear catches on fire. Quickly puts it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's an outbreak. <laughs> you start punching yourself. Yeah. All right, Zenrio. It's now your turn. There's a tree in front of you that's now Guys, on fire. This is working. Okay. Gruul is kind of panting at this point. Um. Oh boy. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna move myself here. Okay, you gotta stick your head out of the bush. Yeah, and I will say, um, you, you are in trouble! You will be turned into the most cursed of all creatures! And I cast a twin polymorph on these two paladins to turn <gasps> them both into lobsters. Yes! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> which, which two, which colors? Uh, it would be, uh, this one? Wait, this one? The, the purple and, one? And oh. 
does two. Oh. Does two? Okay. What's the save? Can you click the save for me? It's it's wisdom. It's a wisdom save. They're probably okay. good at it, but still worth They're trying. They're not. Yeah, they do have a. Uh, they do have a modifier to it. But. Yeah, but. Ooh, here we go. that's a nine for the first one. Does not. Pass. Yes. This midnight dice is kind of bad. All right. No, keep the second one. Come on. Uh, that is going to be a fourteen. That does not pass. Yes! They're both now <laughs> lobsters. Uh, yes! <laughs> yes! As one of them gets turned into a lobster, the other paladin like is like, ah! and starts screaming as this lobster <laughs> falls onto the ground. Um, <laughs> God, for flavor's sake, I wish there were crabs around because they would get the crap beat out of them. But this is the crab crabs. beat out of them. This is, like, yeah. this is like the end of a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Level shenanigans. Oh Behold the power God. of my stand, Crab Rave! <laughs> All right, Panic, it is now your turn. All right. I am going to move out of this guy's range, and I will take that uh, opportunity attack yeah, from he's, him. He's going to swing again with his bow. With his stick. Go uh, stick, uh, stick. Oh, no. Ooh, that is going to be not proficient with this. So that's going to be a 20, a soft 20 to hit you. Yeah, that hits. Ow. Sorry. Oh no, he bludgeoned you. Five points. Oh wait, hold damage. on, we forgot something extremely important. Yes. What? I'm fine. Oh, okay, you're good. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> Eleven. Uh, whew, we're good. I was scared. I saw the one. I was like, no. <laughs> Summon a uh, demon. Oh. Yeah. You take oh, you take five warning? points of bludgeoning damage, panic, as he hits you over. Ow. the you Stagger, but you manage to run over. I'm assuming you grab the two paladin or the yep. two clerics. Yeah, I. I... I they kind of gasp, like they look absolutely petrified of you. Like one of them, like almost looks like she's gonna faint. Uh, but you grab the them. Ladies, I know I'm beautiful, but now is not the time. Roll a charisma <laughs> check for that. Oh God. boy, corruption away. It will not work. Oh, yeah. them, though. Okay. Seventeen. Uh, one of them, as you grab their hand, uh, which one is it? Wait, pink. Oh, it's green. Green. Green kind of looks up at you like wide-eyed and is like, whoa. And you kind of grab them and I assume you're running, running yeah, with them. Yeah, press, press the chase chasing. Yeah, I know. Ching. Not really though. The other one is, un <laughs> the other one is unimpressed, um, unfortunately. But you do grab them both. The other one folds her arms and rolls her Take eyes. Look, I can get, uh, and I move, I move you half can, you, movement. You can, you can dash, so you can move 30 feet. I'm not going to dash. So you so are dashing. Five, 10, 15. All right, I'm going to bring them here. Okay. I'm gonna look up. back at Paladin. Ah. You know those head bonks really hurt. That shit hurted. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of don't want you, you know, like chasing us. So, uh... or tell or not. And I cast heat metal on his helmet. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh no! Okay. And he can't. He can't take it off. He's not allowed yeah. to take it off. He's oh still... god! Yeah. Which means he has disadvantage on a lot of his checks. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of does. damage. He needs to make a Constitution saving throw. Oh, buddy. Okay. Constitution's not terrible. Come on, sunrise dice. No sunrise dice. That is going to be a seven. Nope. He takes 2d8 fire damage and Whoa. um attack rolls and ability checks are made with disadvantage. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Roll that 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 damage there. Come on, baby. That shit hurt it. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh fire damage. Oh, God. Almost Four. max damage. That's 14 on 2d8. Oh Jesus. God. That beats the one and the two from earlier for you sure. You hear this screeching high-pitched sound task. You see this happen and you look on horror as this guy begins to glow like a glow stick. And this red molten armor begins to streak, and you hear the sound of sizzling flesh on steel as he oh. starts screaming from at all this the way point. over here jesus i'm yeah, the fire he... flinger now motherfucker yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. all right panic end. stop scarring all the orange clergy no it is, it is now gruel's turn gruel seeing that you're down uh borky he is going to double movement through the trees dun, 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 dun. wait for that horn <laughs> uh you don't know what the horn's for i know uh, i'm waiting for it Stoked. All right. 
Uh, that will end Gruul's turn. That brings us to Task. <laughs> it is now your turn. You currently Woo! see Paladin groveling in agony at the fire. So sure, I... upstairs, the rest are all just confused <laughs> and really all right. angry at this I'm point. Gonna... Real ass lobsters. Yeah, all right, I'm well. gonna ask this. Uh, uh, if I attack, if I attack twice, can I jump from the tree and get the fuck out of here? Oh, you're not in a tree. I assumed you were on the ground. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then, then that's fine. Good move. All right, yeah. cool. So, could I aim for the guy who's on fire's knee for sub damage? Uh, sorry, could you repeat that? Can I, cut aim, out. Can I right. aim for the guy who's on fire's knees for sub damage? I will say you can do so with disadvantage. Okay, well then fuck that. You're aiming, you're aiming, you're aiming for a specific part, so... Well, the, the whole point was I wasn't aiming for a, I didn't want to aim for a specific part. I just wanted to, and that was more fluff to just say I want to do sub damage. Oh, okay. That, that uh, wasn't like specific. That was me just, just fluff. Oh, you're going non-lethal. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, for sure. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. I was just like, no, 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 I'm doing non-lethal. I thought, I thought you were trying to shoot out his leg so he couldn't chase panic. Yeah, that's, that's it's that a was... different, uh, that's a called shot. Oh, yeah, fair. Yeah. No, I'm not yeah, calling shot. That, that was just, that was just flavor. Sorry, I, I was confused. That's fine. All right. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. He doesn't look like he's gonna die, but he definitely looks like he's not happy. Well, let's see what happens with two shots to the fucking knee. Okay. Oh, that is going okay. to miss, unfortunately. One I shot do... to the knee. That will hit. That second one will definitely hit. Plus Colossal Slayer, because he did take damage from Panic. Yes! <laughs> uh, Colossal Slayer. I have to add that to my attack list again, because I forgot what my Colossal oh. Slayer does. No, I got it, I got it still. Do 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 do. Colossus Slayer is a 1d8. I got it. Okay. 1d8. One. One. Hey, still something. You do shoot him. He lets out more screams. His apple. You even like this with the <laughs> with the first shot. You shoot you shoot his apple that he had, and it's just he's like no, like he's just like no, my food. You have more pressing <laughs> matters, dude. Peace out. I'm out of here. Just squeezes okay. the apple juice over his helmet. <laughs> 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 you, take, you take off along with Remy. Uh, Pass out. out the woods. All right, that brings us to uh, Greckles. You have your, your your clerics. You're in the clear at this point if you move forward. So I, I'm assuming you're going to grab them and you're going to run. I I kind of want to double back to, to make sure the other two get away. But Just at this point, I, I would need a babysit the two, wouldn't I? You, you got to get them out. So like everybody's got to do their part. Just get them out. All right. Panic, I leave it up to you. Yeah, I'm going to. You got to trust your teammates. Yeah. If if I if I dash, I'll be out. I'll be off the map. All right, you dash. Oh, the bush is coming with you. Whoa, the, oh, oh, God, the bush is coming. Bush is here too. It's, it's, <laughs> it's Shrub Buddy. Hey. Shrub Buddy's back, he's there. back he's from back. the dead. Hey, Shrub Buddy. He's a little yeah, oh. My bad. Didn't that surpri that surprised line. me. <laughs> I was like, what? Damn. All right. Well, the chat is um, reacting well to that. My bad. <laughs> All right, Greckles, you are in the safety zone. You're free. Uh, it is now Remy. You are in the clear. It is now the Paladin's turn. Yep. They are all going to have disadvantage on everything because of the intimidation and the straight up chaos that is now including all the lobsters. And the yeah, lobsters. And the lobsters. <laughs> their, their, current, their current quote unquote leader is a fucking lobster now. So <laughs> <laughs> there's chaos in the ranks Ooh, of the Oh, moment. I have such a fun idea. God, no, I can't do but, that. I'm so happy but, that I saw him turn into a lobster. But on their turn, you begin to hear bells ringing. You hear ding, 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 yeah. panic and warning signs going off. Uh, you see movement behind the walls and you hear sounds. Oh, At this point, you're no. like, oh god, this is not good. Yeah. Um, all right, so the first thing is, do they get a, to resave on the polymorph every round or no? no. As long They're as just... concentration holds, they are lobsters. They are lobsters. <laughs> they okay. are lobsters. Oh, Shit. it's fantastic. Yep. Okay. Oh my god, well, so you can hold that for oh, an hour. The rest of your life. Hour. Yeah. Pink Paladin is going to run, and he is going to try to grab uh, his cleric from you, Panic. Okay. Uh, he's going to reach out and grab her. I need you to roll a strength check, or actually okay. an athletics check to keep her from being ripped from you. Is this opposed? Opposed, yeah. So he okay, he has disadvantage. Yeah, disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, it was athletics? Athletics, yeah. Come on, Panic. Come on, Come on baby. Come on. Nine. Nine. Sure. Okay, that's a 17. But. That's a two. Yeah! <laughs> Plus seven, that's a nine. It ties. Ties. Tie goes to. Boom. Wait. Yeah, uh, you guys. 
You guys are currently tug of war. He's grabbed her by one arm, you got her by the other, and you guys are currently struggling, and I'm... she's trying to kick away from, from him. No, I'm gonna use I will my... not let you. Oh. I'm using my reaction to subtract 1d4 from the paladin's roll. Oh, oh nice. Nice. What's, what's, what's the distance on that? Yeah, as that you can see. Okay, you I will allow that. And it's, I, I spend two sorcery, I have to spend two sorcery points to do it, but he subtracts 1d4, yeah. so he loses. Oh my check. god, that's as, awesome. Nice! Wow. What you, what he rolled doing? a one, one on the four. So as he reaches out to grab her, and you guys kind of have this tug of war, you almost hear like a geyser, like a small little steam sound, as this eruption of what looks arcane energy just kind of strikes upwards and goes through his hand. And he screams as like, almost like a bullet firing through his arm. He reaches back and is like, ah, ah! Uh, Sorry! Roll, roll a knowledge arcana panic as you see this. 15. Okay. Uh, based on when you talked to Zenrio about how he got his abilities, that was basically a concentrated uh, magical vent that just came out there. Hm. All right. So it channeled through the earth and psh, came through. All right. He does not grapple successfully, so he is on the side, and that wastes a turn. Uh, our archer friend here, who sucks terribly, is going to fire at you, though. Uh, that's so Oh my god, this guy sucks! <laughs> yeah! Hey, man! Hey, somebody oh. somebody let Missy up there know that we appreciate him. That's an eight. That's gonna totally miss you, right, Thank you, Ruffle. Yep. The other one, who seems a bit more confident. Same dice, please, come on. That's just one more, so that's ten. That's not gonna... Nope. Oh. Woo! Boom, boom, two Get arrows land next to you. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is they to make up for shit. the fucking boat. They don't see shit. Um, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna regroup. So Zenrio, yes, uh, uh -oh. he's gonna actually yeah they're gonna do that. All right, this guy comes over and grabs this lobster. <laughs> okay. Uh, Leader lobster. This, this this one will come over and grab this lobster, and he's gonna move back with it. Uh, this cleric's gonna run for the wall. This one's gonna run for the wall. Uh, this one's gonna run back as well. Um, I'm gonna see if he notices you, panic, as he's running away. Nope, he's not. He's not gonna see you, so he's gonna book it too. He's gonna double dash. Best Mario Kart. Uh, yep. Run. Agree. Yeah. Donkey yeah. Kong, baby. Yeah. It's all about the Donkey Kong level. All right. That ends their turn. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. If you want to run, you can be in the clear. Uh, can I out? Can I run and grab Zenrio like a football and then run yeah, off? Yeah, sure, I'll let you do. Borky that. runs <laughs> over, just grabs him like rule grabbed Zenrio in the middle of him doing a pose, and I just walk off with him under my arm. All right. Okay, boy. I wave. I wave by to the lobsters. <laughs> yeah. The lobsters sip their claws angrily and <laughs> <he's> bowing over. <laughs> All right, that ends. Forky's turn, Zenro, you're off the field. Panic, it is now your turn again. This paladin's up in your business again. All right, I'm gonna dash as an action. Okay, he's gonna get a free swing on you. Yep, disadvantage. With disadvantage. With disadvantage, yeah. It's natural 20 and a two, so yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <sighs> that would have been bad. That would have been so right. bad. To be fair, he's using, his... he's using right. a bow as a club, but. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make it to the tree line okay. with him. All right, you run to the tree line with them. Yeah. I'm gonna turn back and I'm gonna scream, this is for the boat, motherfucker! Bonus action, heat metal again. Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, what, what, what part though? The helmet. The whole, the whole thing. The cod piece. <laughs> no! Yes! 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 Yeah! While I'm concentrating on heat metal, I can make him take the damage again. Oh. Okay, he just have to make the save, does he? Um, he can make the save at disadvantage, right? He better. Oh my god. <laughs> he better. Disadvantage, okay. baby. Uh, it is. No, these. Uh, didn't, that was. Oh god, there's so many fives. Why are there so many fives? <laughs> Until the like spell ends, you can, you can bonus action to deal the damage again. Um, if a creature is holding or wearing the object, it must make a constitution saving throw. Or, or drop the object if it can. If it doesn't drop the object, it has disadvantage on attack rolls, ability okay. throws. Well, he can't He can't drop his armor, but he does take the damage and he keels over. He's not out, but he struggles back to his feet. He looks fucking angry. Uh, the pink cleric, you see her kind of look at you and she looks petrified right now. Like she was very scared. Uh, no, 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 it's, just, it's just to keep them off us. Don't worry, I'm not like a hell 
person. <laughs> I'm not a hell, hell person. person. I, I mean, I kind person. of am, but let, it's not right, not right now. Okay. Eat shit. Tess screams from the sideline. Gruel is going to run over. Uh, that is going to end his turn as he dashes. Task, I'm assuming you're out. Uh, you know what? Uh oh. You know fucking you what? Gonna, you just mad and you're going to finish him? Yeah, I'm going to sub finish him. <laughs> I'm going to sub finish him. Uh oh. I'm a sub dude. I'm gonna sub finish him. Why not? 18. Hey. Uh, that un that actually misses. Okay, well I still wow. have another one. 22. That hits. That hits. There it is. And another oh, colossus. One. All right. Oh, six. Yeah, yeah. And your colossus slayer. And my another colossus eight. slayer. Sub damage. Let's go four. That's ten, 10 damage. He Yee. looks awful. He's still standing though. As oh you see God. this panic, you have you just you're just impressed that he is like this well trained. Okay, now Taz, peace out. All right, you run, you go into the brush, and you're gone. Suka's there, and she's like, "Hey!" As you run past her, it wasn't a bush. It was just yeah. her back. She had her back turned to you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Greckles, you're out. Remy, you're out. It is now the Paladin's turn. Uh, these guys are all gonna retreat. Uh, yeah, everyone's going into the wall. Uh, you watch now as the door is beginning to open. Uh, I'm gonna say for the sake of this, they are all out of combat. They are all gonna leave. Uh, everyone's going in. What about what about uh, Rib Rose over there? Move. He's pissed. <laughs> uh, panic! The archers are gonna get another shot at you. Okay, dude, this is your redemption. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna get a paycheck at this rate, please. No, I can't. You're not gonna believe me. Now, twenty. He Nat natural 20. one again. Yeah! yeah! Shoot, shoot pink no. paladin. Shoot pink paladin. Wait a minute. Oh this is just God. three toddlers in a trench coat. Hey, three <laughs> toddlers in heated up armor. Wait a minute. This Who hired these really men? Damn it. Oh my God. Please let him shoot his buddy. Because if he kills him, we don't have to okay. explain it to Audrey. Okay. I'm rolling. I'm rolling severity. Okay. It's middle severity. So, so I will have him roll. I will have him roll to hit his companion. Uh oh. The damage, the damage will be halved. That's wow. This even on fucking damage dice he rolls. Over <laughs> <on this guy. laughs> so, so much. Oh my god. I'm, I'm actually mad. Well, I'd like to take this moment to thank Die Hard Die for their. Uh, <laughs> uh, everyone, <laughs> the official <laughs> sponsor of getting it done right. Unofficial, unofficial Die Hard Die sponsored stream trip in the episode. The official sponsor. Give me this opportunity to tell all of you DMs out there to buy a pair of these dice. Your players will thank you later. The official sponsor, sponsor of the Let Panic Grim Tongue Live Society. Okay. <laughs> but the other one gets a shot, and he seems to be more confident. So let's roll for him. Oh, that that one. is much better. That's a twenty-one. Okay. <laughs> twenty-one hits. Twenty-one. So if you all subtract right. twenty from that, that's gonna be seven points of piercing damage. Ow. Right in his butt. <gasps> Funk. All right. I've officially taken the narrow for you, too. Mm. They kind of look concerned at you. Uh, and that is going to end everyone else's turn. Borky, you're out. Zenryu, you're out. Panic, it's now your turn. I think I know what you're going to do. Yep. I'm going to uh, bonus action. Uh, or I'm going to, I'm going to uh, <laughs> dash off screen. <laughs> wall him off screen. <laughs> sure. One more time. Heat metal. <laughs> Uh-oh. Right. Uh this might kill him, though. Non-lethal. Non-lethal. Oh. Okay. Well, remember, these guys get knocked down differently. I was about to say, how could you non-lethal You can't really metal? do non-lethal heat metal. It's like warm. Uh, it's like warm. It is what it is. Five. He's down. You watch as you, as he just Oof. falls forward. And the fi like the grass around him begins to catch fire as well. <laughs> and as he, as he falls down, you hear him shout out, Can't grow! And he's like, falls into the sand and dust. Sorry, what was that name? Bye bye. Kendra. Kendra, got it. Thank Kendra. Kendra. Yeah. Uh, Panic, you do feel the one cleric squeezes your hand quite hard. And uh, as you run past, girls like, hello, my name is, oh, right. And he kind of runs after you. <laughs> <laughs> so many new girls to ship. <laughs> Rubbing his hands. Oh all right, as they all run, you guys are now in the woods rushing and running. Um, and you watch as Gruul is keeping pace. The clerics are getting snagged. Some of them are kind of screaming as like branches kind of hit them in the face. Uh, you we guys all take run. a cleric to help. 
Uh, yeah, you guys each kind of s split up the clerics, each one taking one. Um, Gruel goes over to pick one up. They don't seem, they don't want that. Um, <laughs> they don't really want to be touched by anybody at this point. Um, and they're running, uh, and as they're running, you begin to hear as you hear the galloping of hooves. And as you hear the galloping of hooves, Gruel takes that horn finally. Yes. Blows, and you watch as you see these horses break through the tree line. You guys are rushing forward. The paladins now on horseback catching up to you swing, and you watch as all the orcs now pull taut ropes they were tying to those trees clotheslining the horses oh. the riders are knocked off and everyone just runs as they smash into pits and into traps and you guys all book it through the tree line running and running and running and running you now see that that one tree is now spreading the fire is now spreading as you guys keep going and running and running you all take points of exhaustion for this as you guys keep running and running and running and running and running eventually until you're safe and back at the edge of the orc camp <gasps> <gasps> Good job, guys. Thank we, you. We wow. it off. I didn't even have to dimension door. No. Yo, I turned two people into lobsters. <laughs> I'm very that proud of you, That was amazing. Did. And hey, I saw what you did. Thanks for the help there, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah. Sometimes it just does that. I don't know why. <laughs> Regardless, thanks for being there. Yeah, no problem. Oh. <sighs> well, Borky, well, Borky, that was phase two of your plan. I hope you got a doozy for part three. You guys look over and you see all four of the clerics, just like penguins, just kind of all like huddled together and just looking at you guys wide eyed. Oh, hey. um, let's let me describe what they look like to you. Um, okay. They're all wearing similar, exactly identical robes to uh, I could grab the sheets here. You got, yeah, you, got you know, part of here. part of me, part of me thought that they were all sort of like color coded. <laughs> <laughs> the purple one has purple hair. No. Um, Were they fucking so... magical girls? Oh. Yeah. No. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Well, we did get four of them, so... Keep them away from Gruel. Oh. So, um, of them all, you don't really get a good glance of what they look like. Uh, one of them is actually currently holding in her hands Liza's mask. She's just holding it in her hands, and she's kind of got this, like, weird... Out of all of them, she seems the most like, wow, this is amazing. Like, huh. Like <laughs> A whole new world. Yeah, funny how life works. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. one of them looks like she's gonna cry at any moment. And even when you guys were like like before rescuing um Greco's, you even noticed this seems to be like an expression on this girl's face. She looks like she's ready to burst into tears at any moment. Borky um, uh Borky real fast just pokes uh just pokes um oh my god, Remy. Get Aubrey. Yeah, I was about to say uh, Greco's immediately calls out for Audrey. <laughs> uh the other one, one of them kind of pulls back her cowl. Uh she's kinda like got short, kind of chopped hair. Uh, kind of like blonde, um, and she looks very pretty, very, very, very quite pretty. Uh, the other one uh, is very tall, like she's like maybe like I would say very tall, like maybe about six feet tall actually. Um, long black hair, kind of has a long nose, um, and she kind of looks very, very serious. Like she's got a very serious look. Like she looks like she's a lawyer um, or a math teacher. <laughs> Ken Shiro face. <laughs> um, and you watch as uh, two of them, uh, the one with the with the long hair, very tall, and the one with the chopped hair, like kind of just take each other's hand. Uh, the other two just kind of like are hugging each other and just looking up at you, particularly panic and gruel, like just like shaking at now, this point. I know what this looks like. I am a tiefling. Yeah, we've we've got the horns and the eyes and the charcoal skin and stuff like that but you know I'm not gonna hurt you none of us are we wanted to get you away from them because I've heard stories and first hand experience of what those guys do to you Aubrey wanted to help you out uh, the tallest girl walks forward and she goes thank you yeah thank you um she walks forward i'm um i'm hanori reach out a hand panic takes it and shakes it this is kendra the woman with the chopped hair uh, also the one that was kind of squeezing your hand as you downed her paladin 
kind of looks up at you and kind of gives you like a smile and goes, uh, do you, do you grow those yourself? What, the horns? <laughs> yeah. Are yeah. you born with them? Yeah, they're a lot smaller back then, but, uh, you know, over time starts, you know, a little, little bit of uh, calcium-like buildup just starts going into the, going on top of it, layers and layers. I'm sure if you, it's like a tree, you know? Yeah, I, never, I like to I'm, rub my horns up against bark, you know, it just helps. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of just get them like, you know, like a, like a manicure, but for... Horns. I thought you called it What's a, a manicure? I thought you called it a buffing. It's got the word man in it. That's all you need to know. Uh, and Gruel yeah. kind of nods. <laughs> um, oh my god. The, yeah, the, the blonde uh, the blonde cleric, um, Kendra, she kind of turns and goes, his poor mother. Just kind of shaking at the idea of... <laughs> oh boy. Uh, oh yeah, oof. my poor mother, huh? Uh, the other two kind of look and... Um, the one girl kind of waves her hand, holding Liza snatch. She goes, I'm Evelina. Do we see the waving of the yeah, mask? She's just... Oh, she's not waving the mask. She's waving her hand. She's holding onto Liza's mask at the moment. Nice to meet I'm you. I'm Evelina. This is, uh, this is Maria. She kind of grabs Maria's shoulders, and she's just like... <sighs> Maria, nice. nice to meet you. Hey, and what did she say your name was? Uh, Maria. She's got, like, a pair of glasses, and she's got, like, the most, like, like... Edma mode, like oh my god, like, <laughs> oh yeah, the she's fucking go nerd, on go on, it's super hard. Yeah, she got, the, she got the swirly glasses. Does she? Yeah. Does she have swirly glasses? You know what, sir? Yeah. Oh, the nerdy Mo Howard. Yeah, Maria, Poor you're safe now. Everything is going to be hunky dory. Roll a persuasion check. Eighteen. Oh, oh, that one on the side. <sighs> They're gonna kill us if we go back. They all kind of look to each other. That's the We're best part. Going. You don't gotta. We're not going back. You watch now as Remy, you you gather Audrey, Remy and Greckles. You just guys like burst through the door. And she's like, ah! She's wearing like orc attire. Uh, she's wearing, like, Yuka's, like old robes, and it's just too big. And she's like, oh, hi. They're all back safe. Uh, oh, they're... she gets up to move, and she slips on the robe and falls face first into the ground. <laughs> nice. Uh, per perhaps you should oh. take these back, ladies. Uh, Greckles, yes, Greckles, Greckles hands back her her. Uh... Her holy symbol and her a, clothes. A, a quick important note that I have to ask. How long has it been since we were at that camp? It's been like, what? maybe Two 20? hours. Two hours? Okay, so they're not yeah, lobsters guys, anymore. Yeah, uh, you guys are running. Um, I, I, I want it to be noted that I did keep them uh, as lobsters for as long as possible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so there's a chef there who's probably very sad. Mm -hmm. Also, um, as, a, as a note to you, Monty, Remy has not taken off his helmet or anything yet in this room. No, you, you still look yep. like a paladin, yep. uh, which is why Audrey was so shocked. She was like, oh, because you look exactly like her paladin. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, she eventually runs out. And as she runs out, there's this, like, almost this pause as they all like see each other and immediately they just all collide and they're just all hugging each other. Aww. It's very sweet. And they're just kind of like, oh my God, oh my God. And it's like, and then there was just darkness everywhere. And like Tom couldn't hit Jack shit again. It was the <laughs> best. <laughs> nice. Oh, his name yeah, is Tom. Tom was a, right, Tom note, was a fucking note. asshole up there. Oh, fuck Tom. Fuck, <laughs> fuck Tom. Ta Task is going to actually like clear his throat standing before them a little bit though. So it's like to get scary. to get their attention. If you wouldn't mind, he holds his hand up. That mask actually belongs to us. Oh, what? What are yeah. you talking about, Task? Borky hasn't seen it. Oh, you can see it. She clearly has it out. She's oh, showing yeah. it. Oh, yeah. That is. That's. That's the. You know, if anything to survive. I don't really like this mask, to be honest with you. I'm surprised you kept it. Well, it's pretty. I've never seen a mask like it before. Hmm. If you wear it and you sleep at night, you feel really lonely, though. 
Mm. Yep. Task will hold, keep holding his hand out. May I? Of course. She hands it back to you. Um, and she kind of, they all kind of look to Audrey, and Audrey kind of leans forward. Uh, they all, doing that same sort of like hand thing, bow down their heads as low as they possibly can, and they look up and they go, uh, one of them goes, uh, specifically uh, Hanore, she goes, we are very sorry for what we did to you. You know, you apologized and you fessed up to it. That's acceptable. We can do more. How can we help? And that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Yay! Oh, shit. Okay, all right. Good all job, right. guys. Yeah. Now yeah. we've got a legion of clerics. Da -da 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 -da. Finally, one of my partial plans worked. Bye, Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Seriously, get drunk and twist. It'll help your playthrough of God Hand a lot. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was episode 74. 74. 74. I'm so happy yes. that that plan worked well, and I'm very happy yeah. that I got to be all animated like an. Uh, I was gonna say, good call on great. being uh, the, the leader's you, brother. You being yelling and shouting gave everybody who like who was looking at you disadvantage to see the other commotion, and that fucking saved panic, probably. Mm -hmm. Probably. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That, my whole thing was like that was that was plan. we need in the end. Yeah, fire is great. They'll put out the fire. They need something to really. I might swap out my dice. I'm so fucked. Well, look, like. We got our asses handed to us last time, so, so just yeah. think about it. We learned. We learned. That's that's yeah. like the perfect narrative beat of like, oh, we started to learn. Also, like Monty, everybody, I... everybody did their job. Everybody did really good. <laughs> I put my hand on your shoulder. Three nat ones in a row on a boss. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. And one of them was a nat one hundred. <laughs> yep. It was no. It was, it was two nat twenty. It was two twenties and a one hundred. Yeah, Monty, we've that. all been there. Yeah. Fair I just love that you well, found I, this big I, I bad guy. Guys. Can I can I throw I'm not really good with episode titles. Can I throw one out for once? Yeah. Okay. So episode 34, we didn't start the fire. Mm. <laughs> but we did though. I tried. I threw it's it true. There. No, it's true. You guys didn't. We didn't start it. We technically didn't start it. Hmm. Hmm. We had I still think blame it on RNG fits very did, didn't appropriately we say, in this one. Didn't we say we were gonna like in the last episode we were gonna make it flip? We had oh, we had tactic oh tactics and ten arts was one of the episodes uh flame war and blame it on orangey yeah I kind of like kinda... blame it on orangey because flame yeah. war is going to be the big confrontation yeah, fl yeah, yeah. flame war is something else flame war is going to be fucking Tom that's going to be next episode so yeah fucking Tom blame it on RNG. We'll Tom blame Foolery! It on RNG. I'm good with that Tom Fool oh Tom Foolery's good oh, damn it God, Tom oh Foolery that's really good nice. oh Tom Foolery's really good. Yeah, that's but they're not gonna—they're not gonna get that until the very, until very, the very end. end. But that's the point. That's great. Uh, <laughs> they look at the I, episode title. Oh god! I would, I would, I would still argue that "Blame It on Orangey" would be better because it I encapsulates like better. the episode. Someone yeah, said "Banning the Flames." Mm. I, mm. I still like Orangey. It's too good. It, it 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 completely encapsulates the entire episode. You'll also never get to use it again. Yeah. yeah. I just realized. I've severely burned one of the clerics. Again. I, I Again. severely burned one of the paladins, and they don't have clerics. No, they yep. have a couple. They have a, they they have a couple. couple. They have yeah. a couple, but they're going to be burning through their spells. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that... I mean, they'll if get we them back the next day. Yeah, so we if we don't make a move immediately, they'll get them back. There is no immediately. We have to... We have to rest. Speaking we have to which, rest and then go. Speaking of being yeah. immediate, though, we do got to let everyone go here. So I want to thank some following people for their incredibly kind. All right, probate. I saw what you were doing during that stream. Oh, you yeah. bastard. <laughs> you bastard. With another 15,000 bits petitioned to name Zenrio's source of magic, oh. the Mana Geysers. Mana yeah, Geysers. Mm. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. I, no, I like it. Mark the Terra, 1700 bits. They're building the army. The Talbs, Lasker Fuffel, thank you so much for the bits. B. Kimball, thank you so much. Title, Misfire Mayhem. Bits of success, all fired up. A lot of fun names. Uh, Kane Volante, Mr. Fukum, Fukum up, Mr. Fuck em Up. Okay, there we go. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Fuck em Up, 2001, thank you so much for the sub. Kane Volante. Fukum up, the Chicago. Sheet. Thank you so much as well. Hey. Nila Ninja, Glacerius, I is na key, yes. Take the 300 bits. Six tails. Avion fan. Blackfoot. Barrett. <coughs> I wanted chair number three anyways. <laughs> he says, after the bit war. 
Again, wow, seriously profound thank you to Jack Jumbo and to Prabhu Naga for <gasps> the astronomical amount of bits that he rained down today. Almost a mm -hmm. thousand bits, dude. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you so much for the support. Yeah, a hundred thousand yeah. bits today. It is insane. I only can only. Oh. Uh, and night, right. night, uh, and and kite reaper with seven hundred thirteen hundred and fifty bits. First large bit, first large bit drop. Great game. And talk. Hopefully, you find my character whenever Arkoff will make it. Ah, oh, thank you so much, dude. Uh, real fast, uh, Goomba, you started it up, so you should take us home. Oh. Uh, just just to just to plug myself. Yeah. Okay. You guys can find me here at twitch.tv forward slash Gaijin Goomba. I've been streaming a lot of Neo as of late in preparations for Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, which comes out in March. Mm. Um, I've also started doing a little bit of Tokiden, which is basically <clears throat> a, a slightly easier Monster Hunter, but it is a 100% like Feudal Japan themed. It's been a lot of fun. We, we made an Oni Girl, tiny little girl, giant ass like uh, Kanabo Club, like the spiky Oni Clubs. Oh, as of course as you do. <laughs> Of course, of course. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you guys come by. Um, we are we, we are breaking down more culture and gaming live. Um, so that's every uh, Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time, and then Friday morning at 10 a.m. U.S. Central Time. Uh, also, find me on YouTube where I do more of culture and gaming and anime analysis. Awesome. Zito, cool. where can they find you? Find me on twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, as of late, it's been a lot of Slay the Spire, a lot of, uh, because I'm working on a mod for Slay the Spire, so a lot of, a lot of play testing is going on about that. Uh, next month, there's gonna be a lot of fucking new indie stuff coming out, especially, uh, Wargroove. Uh, yeah, that on looks February good. February 1st, so once, once that drops, you, you bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna be playing that. Nice. And the wonderful, the lovely Bosco, where can they find you? Uh, they can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Twitter and Instagram. They can also find me right here on twitch.tv, just slash my name, Edward Bosco. A lot of, lot of sports ball, as I mentioned before, and uh, really looking forward to getting into it. So if you guys want to play, come on by. All righty, awesome. Blackwing Hellkite with 5,000 bits. Taka, this oh. is the last of my bits. Take it from me. Aggressive Blackwing Hellkite, but thank you. Uh, fumbling with them in my hands. Thank you so much. Uh, seriously, Blackwing Hellkite. Monty, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me uh, at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. I'd like to stream a bit more this week. We'll see what happens. Um, and yeah. Awesome. Uh, Connor, who has a new computer, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at CNL Snake. They can find me on Twitch at Distortion Double. Or this weekend, I will be doing another Friday Fun House where I play tabletop games with a lot of my friends and get uh, horrendously drunk. Saturday, I'm going to do a playthrough of The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Enhanced Edition, where currently I'm Chapter 3. And Sunday is going to be Boiderlands, uh, where me, uh, hi, I'm Mike, Midnight Kai, and Sir Malarvik. Take a trek through Borderlands 2. We are almost done with the main story, and we are going to be moving on to the DLCs afterwards. Awesome. Hey, um, Octo. Mm -hmm. Where can they find you, baby? Mavis looked at all of her friends on a floating table and noticed they were looking at her, waiting for an answer. Meanwhile, silence fell God upon the whole it. castle. Only ah! the tripping of us. Okay. No! Hi. Okay. Hi. You can find me. You can find me everywhere at Octopim. I'm going to be playing a lot of Guilty Gear coming up because I have a major tournament coming up in the beginning of February, Ooh. so I can practice for that. Best of luck. Uh, thank you. Best of luck. Uh, if I win, I get to go to Arc Revo. So fingers crossed. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's um, good. Yeah, well, yeah, but anyway, that's what I've been doing lately. Um, I've kind of been sort of finding out my groove for January, but it'll be fun. So come on by. Uh, Luke, a lot, one thousand bits. This money is it. This is it. Monday, Octo, one thousand bits from Luke. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Uh, like us, and you can find me right here, folks. Uh, we'll be continuing on the multiverse uh, nexus of wrestling. Uh, having a blast with it. Thank you so much for everyone who's part of the community who submitted characters. Thank you also for sending support Arkolf's way. Uh, you may know him as the I voice of Doros. He has done so much amazing stuff. I don't even know where to begin. So big shout out for Arkolf as well. 
And a big shout out to all the amazing artists who come by every uh, Monday at 7 o'clock PST. Some amazing art was just this week, like kind of blown away by the quality. I, I definitely know that Bosco can adhere to that. Like To what? How good the art was. Oh, the art this week was unbelievable. Mm. Yeah, Octo as well. Yeah, it was great. absolutely incredible. No, super it was, great. It was even the Alabast Oracle got their act together. It was great. Oh my God, he's so mad at them. I'm I'm not mad. They do. They have a wonderful newspaper, and I'm I'm very supportive of all the hard work that those guys do. And I think it's a wonderful community uh, of people who come together to to put out a great product every week. It they, it's a really well done thing. Oh Zito, we have waiting for the drop. When we're done. Why? What, what, something bad happened? No, very good. But I have to ask you questions. Oh, okay. uh, real, but uh, real fast, folks. Uh, you can check out that at seven o'clock tomorrow, guys. Thank you all so much for coming by here and supporting the Unexpectables. Again, a profound thank you to Blackwing Hellkite, Probate, uh, Jack Jumbo. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we're gonna be ra we're gonna rate Sigiku. Yeah. I'm okay yeah. with that. Let's do it. Oh yeah, hell yeah. It's Ray. He's taking commissions. She yeah. is? They're full. They're full now, though. There, she's got them filled. Oh, oh snap. Oh. Immediately, I was like, all right. She's like, they're full. I'm like, okay. No. <laughs> so all right, everyone, don't be nice to Siggy. Oh, Ziggy. Ziggy, Ziggy, Ziggy. Ziggy. Can't but you this see? Thing about the three Another awesome session, guys. And Monty, now let Ta Tatermancer send you off with some Tater Tot. Thank you, Bud the Spud. Oh, nice. Mm. Oh, Bye, bud. guys. Bud is the Bud. Bye, everybody.